Hello and welcome to Dash 28 Live. I'm your host, Mike Atkins, and today we are going to be bringing you a first round match from, there's Britain right on time, I knew it. Uh, we're gonna be bringing you a first round match from It's Always Sunny in Panathor 2, The Electric Boogaloo. That nice little 80s reference for everybody that was into breakdancing movies back in the day. Um, and we're gonna be bringing you uh, Alex Coos versus Alan Boehner. Hey guys, welcome. How you doing? How's it going? Hey. And uh, joining me here to talk about the match, we have Jesse Bilbia, Steve Forster, and Brent Williams. Hey guys, thanks for coming. Okay. Um, so you guys are gonna be playing uh, Loot on the first round map for the tournament as determined by the TO, and you're gonna be playing at uh, 1995 points plus a special optional uh, Thunder Gun unit, which is a fun thing that's specific to this tournament. I'll have uh, Steve talk about that a little bit after we go through the lists. Uh, but without further ado, let's check out let's check out the lists that you guys are going to be playing. So this is uh, Alex's list. He's playing League of Verdia. Alex, could you walk us through your list, please? All right. So for this tournament, I decided to use two foot guard hordes, uh, one with Brew of Strength, and the other one I forgot to make a note of on the list is my Thunder Gun unit, which is plus one crushing strength. So they're both essentially the same. And then two mounted scout troops, uh, Two honor guard hordes, both with indomitable will, one with sharpness, one with caterpillar. And then a Duke on winged airless with the mead of madness. <clears throat> uh, the Baron at the loot of insatiable darkness on a mount, because he's the best standard bear in the game. And then two wizards on Pegasi, one with boomstick and lightning bolt three for lightning bolt six, one with lightning bolt three and the inspiring talisman, and then the battle shrine, because. Battle Shrine. Because of Battle Shrine. Right. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thank you for walking us through that. And now let's check out Boehner's uh, Forces of Nature. Could you walk us through your list, please? Yeah, absolutely. So we have the Salamander Primes. They're the Thunder Gun unit with the Pathfinder upgrade. Uh, the Forest Shamblers. Uh, one has Fire Oil. Just had five points left over. It's not going to matter this game. Uh, another Horde. And then we got the Earth Elementals, Beast of Nature kitted out with the extra attacks and flying as one does druid with bane chant surge four and then tree herder upgraded to the will father unicorn with the boomstick and flying and then kapoka i believe that's how you say her name or her name whatever it is hidden savior awesome all right and that's going to bring you at 10 drops and 17 unit strength yeah. to Alex's 11 20. and 20 yeah, uh, but you guys are playing loot, so mm -hmm. doesn't so much matter for unit strength this time as much as just how many scoring units you got left. Yeah. At the the game. So let's take a look now at your UB room. We've already done your deployments. Okay, so you guys are playing loot with three tokens. Those are the red dots across the middle. Uh, this is the standard map for the first round. So you've got uh, an impassable building over on the left. We got some passable rocks over on the right, a couple of forests, a couple of hills, uh, one obstacle kind of in the middle, a pond kind of over in the right corner, and the roads are just cosmetic, right? Yeah, roads are cosmetic. Okay, uh, cool. And now, so I believe we have Alex's uh, League of Rordia uh, deployed across the top. Is that right? Yes. Cool. Uh, could you walk us through your deployment, please, starting over on the left? All right, so the Duke is over on the left uh, on the edge of the forest. And then I got the Mounted Scouts with the Sharpness uh, Honor Guard. And then I got the Thunder Gun unit in the middle. And then next to that is the other Foot Guard. Behind that is the, I think, the Boomstick and the Battle Shrine. And then Mounted Scouts and then the Inspiring Wizard in the Pathfinder Honor Guard. Okay, great. Uh, and then, Alan, you're across the bottom. Could you walk us through yep. your deployment starting on the left? You got it. Uh, Beast of Nature, and then we go to, to all the way to the center. Got the Primes. Earth Elementals. Behind the Earth Elementals is the Druid. Forest Shamblers. Wilt Father. Capotec. Forest Shamblers. 
boomstick pe- uh, unicorn, and mm-hmm. then uh, finish off with the beast. Finish off with the beast. Awesome. And now for these forests, are you guys playing just the brown base, or are you counting uh, the branches that overhang as well? I think uh, we're doing branches. Yeah, that's. I always play full full whatever. Because like if they're they're pretty. Mm-hmm. Pretty solid. defined. Yeah, they're well defined. Well defined. All right. Plus, Thanks. I need as much wood as I could get over there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, all right. So, thanks for walking us through all that, guys. Good luck to both of you. Uh, okay. Have fun, and uh, we will see you back here when your game's over. All right. Let's thanks. do it. All right. And then we'll bring up the all important clock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no, we're not having any of that. No, no. No, no. no, no. Clock strictly enforced here. So it yeah. begins. All right. So these guys are playing loot. And mm-hmm. uh, let's first things first. Steve, can you explain what the deal is with the Thunder Gun units, please? Sure. Um, so the Thunder Gun unit, I mean, if you guys remember from. Last summer, with that's always something in Panther. What part one? The the tournament like specialty was the uh, the special character that everyone got. This time, I switched it up and did a Thunder Gun unit, which is an an upgraded unit. Um, it's either a regiment or a horde of infantry, large infantry or large or heavy infantry, and they got to pick from a list of five different uh, upgrades that they could use. So the Thunder Gun had to be like the first unit deployed, um, you could give them uh, Crushing Strength 1. Uh, if they didn't have a Crushing Strength already, you can give them Pathfinder and Phalanx. You can give them uh, Brutal and Fury. You can give them a uh, plus 1 unit strength and Regen 6+, plus, and then you could give them Fireball 8 that had Ignore's Cover and uh, Shattering. And then all the tournament special uh, the tournament bonus points are based on what your Thunder Gun unit does. So if it survives, um, or if it has, if it kills a unit, if you get a you get a point. If you kill your opponent's unit, you get a point. Um, yeah. So there's a whole bunch of different uh, different bonuses you get with the with the Thunder Gun unit. Cool. All right, so I think we're waiting to see. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing Boehner's going to take his scout moves first yeah. since he's got the Shamblers and the Wolf Daddy over there. It's a solid scenario for scouts. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for real. And that nice little forest contingent ready to walk up into the woods that's just a couple of inches away from the token, and defended by an obstacle, pinned in by a piece of impassable terrain. Like, yeah, I... I see Alan getting that that rightmost token and just holding it for the game. Yeah, especially that they've got there's just a lot of trees and then rocks that are kind of off to the center, and so they've got a he's got a really good, um, really good center going. Um, I, I like Alex's list a lot. It's uh, mm-hmm. it's a very seems to be the classic um, post Halpy's rift. Yeah, um, League of Rordia list that I think is just very, very strong, and it translates well into 1995 as well. Yeah, that's a lot of, yeah. that's a lot of dudes to handle at 1995, and they almost yeah. all punch. Yeah, like I look, I look at that that Rordia list, and I don't think it's 1995 when I first read it. <laughs> no, yeah, you like think it's missing, points. Right, it's missing a couple pieces. When you think harder, you're like, oh, yeah. there should be like one other thing. One, one, one other Pegasus. One more yeah, Pegasus. Be another Pegasus or another, yeah. you know, uh, another three organ yeah. guns. Uh, yeah, the volley guns, and then, <laughs> <You're right>. um, <laughs> and then another like d- Baron, Baron on ancient wing Al- yep. uh, uh, Alvarez. Uh, uh, Alvarez. Yeah. <laughs> but but really, yeah. like besides the organ guns, which is you know area denial, etc. It's everything else from the list is there so it's yeah. it's super effective yeah. looking we'll see and he's pushing stuff forward it, it just they do everything well i mean they're one of the highest played armies this tournament right steve yeah up they there. are there there are uh, we have 60 68 players yeah. um and they are there are six rorty lists 
Yeah. They're be down by guy. only goblins or seven goblin lists. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Force of the Nature is also the next tie as they're both mm -hmm. tied for six. Interesting meta. It sure is. Yeah, I mean, it's it's interesting because it's a digital meta. Um, yes. And like, Rorty was always very, very underrepresented in second edition at tournaments, mm -hmm. at least in the US from the data I always looked at. I know yeah, yeah. Um, Tom was sort of kicking people's teeth in with Rorty in England, so that mm -hmm. there's always that caveat. Um, but it, it just like didn't show up at a lot of tournaments. Yeah. Um, and I'd, I'm interested to see when we get back to physical tournaments if there are a bunch of people who have been building real Rordia lists and it is as well represented on the scene as it is digitally. Um, I mean, because it's a, great, it's a great list and like really it can is. be a really cool looking army. So I'm, I'm interested in seeing if they show up in real life. Uh, if this, this... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, if you've like listened to any of the counter charges or been around after dark with Alex. He's actually built. He's been yeah. building uh, a human army for um, mm -hmm. seems like the, pretty much a year now. And F fifteen he's, years. He's, yeah, yeah, about fifteen years. That's right. Um, so yeah, that and I think just through playing Rordia through Call of Arms, he's kind of thinking like, okay, I'll have him as a human army, mm -hmm. but they're going to be Rordia. Yeah. It is the because best human army. Oh, because by far. Trying. At least in my opinion, I would agree that yeah. it is by far yeah. the best human army. Also, I enjoy that he's going for, <laughs> or at least trying to do the first step, which is shoot Kapoka off the board. Yeah. <laughs> which is definitely plan one for success it's the, on this. Because, uh, I mean, I, Phalanx, I mean, in this matchup, Phalanx is going to do something because, um, the, it'll affect the the flying dudes. It'll affect the honor guard. But mm -hmm. um, I think the Kapoka, the at least through my experience playing against Kapoka, what's the most frustrating part, and I think the best part of it is having um, weakness three because you have access to weakness to an army that has a, a, a lot of defense five and six fearless units mm -hmm. that are already hard to punch, and then you make them even harder. So just get, get, having giving this army list weakness is, I think, really what what Kapok is for. Yeah, I don't I don't want to fight like forest shamblers in trees no. weakness with phalanx. <laughs> no. just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, like yeah. what am I? Because everything that's going to punch them, um, they're going to be they're as fast or faster than. I mean, mm -hmm. everything that it's not going to be affected by the failings is going to be so your Ogre Palace Guard, your Molochs, um, your Siege Breakers are they're going to be as fast as them. And putting weakness on it, the, your, the, all those things are going to be, again, it's just. It's well, I think it's, that. And I think the Phalanx combo helps because when you hide them in the forest, 90% of the time, you know, like Ratkin excluded, your uh, Pathfinder Strider items go on things that phalanx messes up their day yeah, right. <laughs> it goes on the calf the large calf the the things the things you most often give pathfinder or strider are the things that phalanx works best against usually um and is again here like honor guard have it and they don't want to hit those so no. we'll we'll see but i do like the aggression here push yeah push yeah, push the yeah, blocks forward yeah. you have no other choice <laughs> yeah Interesting placement for these mounted scouts, um, pushing them forward, putting them on a hill when he could have just hidden them behind the hill. It's um, just complete there. air of denial from that beast of nature. Yeah. Yeah. Because he outranges yeah. them with the mead all game. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, if, if I were guessing, I would guess that these scouts are, are basically going to try to get this token to make this beast have to come out and get them and leave an opening for the for the duke mm -hmm. right or force the beast of nature to just abandon that flank and just turn turn in and then go help in the center but if so. he if he abandons that flank he gives those mounted yep. scouts a token right yeah it's a, it's a now, great move now you're fighting over 
like now Alex is fighting over whichever one of those two he feels he can win better. <laughs> right. And that's a right. that's a bad spot to be in when you're um Alan. So we'll see. I mean I'd I love to see Mounted Scouts contribute. Mm-hmm. I love I love to see the unheralded unit do great things. So <laughs> If it can snatch up a token and then run around to the back of that forest and just chill with some beers, um, job done. So. Yeah, and I think the only, let's see, the shooting, Boehner's got a unicorn with lightning bolt five and a boomstick. So if he wanted to, you know, commit the unicorn to lightning bolting those scouts to death after they pick the token, he could, but that, that pretty much locks up all the shooting yeah. right. for a turn or two. And that'll right, that'll end up putting the Pegasi in shooting range or a target for all of Alex's lightning bolt as well. Yeah, right. he gets right. he gets one ish rounds of shooting. Yep. Them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We better Before make it stick. It's, the ten twelve units. I mean, you could. I mean, they're only defense three, so any hits you get, probably gonna wound. Right. Um, eight shots. I mean that yeah. that might be an okay target this round. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, right. take you're, that you're first. Very, yeah. They're close enough that you could just kind of redeploy the, the unicorn to get that uh, and get a, get a long, yeah, or long just shot like, at just him. Like, yeah, just just like fly over and shoot the gap between the earth elementals and the forest, and right, or move move the earth elementals up and land behind them and not worry about it. Something like that, yeah. Because they're they're really tall on the hill there, so you don't have to worry about yeah, shooting over the primes. They're not going to get any cover from that. Yeah, they're effectively height six now, so. You can even shoot over it shoot through the earth elementals and not get cover. Yep. Okay. I see he's moved the Duke over a little further. I didn't really like where he deployed the Duke. I mean, I understood he kind of had to put him there so he could see through the forest, but I, mm-hmm. I didn't like him giving that much of a that that much space on the flank to that beast in case you know Alan got to go first and he could just. Fly the beast straight forward and get this flank. Uh, all right, we got a shooting. Is, and he is what role do you take? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so it looks like he's shooting at Kapoka. I yeah. think it look, looks like he double he clicked. double clicked it, and the, and the, the second first, roll was great. Yeah, the first roll, the first roll, which was the one that counted, is yeah. flunked. Right, because right. he's giving cover. Okay, and there's a second one. And that's what one hit. Yeah. Does he have two things? Oh no, he has two things with lightning bolt six, right? Oh, the, yeah, he's, he's got the he's got the the, the shrine stick and then the battle shrine. Yep. Okay. Which and comes standard in every yeah. birdie list. Yep. The last I mean, and, but battle oops. shrine is one of the best units in the game. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah for, absolutely. for 150 points to get, just getting rally two is that I, I mean it's good just for mm-hmm. rally two. Like, Kapoka's right. going to be fine because he's 12 14. Yeah. And that's going to turn us over to Banner's turn. I really do miss Banner of the Griffin. It's Everyone right. getting rally was a good time. As an orc player, it, it felt <laughs> bad. <laughs> it's like our whole army is under, uh, like, under nerved because we have access to. Um, to the drums, the the mm-hmm. drums, and then yeah. everyone else just gets it, yep. <laughs> and their their nerve isn't bad to begin with. <laughs> My favorite was uh, taking the hell on wheels over chariot formation, oh yeah, which gave and them they... a nerve bump, and then putting the banner yeah. on the, the warlord. warlord. <laughs> so he has rally two, and it's, and it turned the it turned your um, your ogre chariot uh, their regiments. Yeah, they They're basically like, became little hordes. Yeah, they were they had the same nerve profile as the hordes. That was a good time. Good old Clash of Kings 2018. So Alex moved his mounted baron kind of over here. I'm guessing to try to deny this beast just zipping up the side and landing in the flank of the honor guard. Because right. then the baron can just go over and sit them down. Yeah. He's yeah, not going to do a lot, but he's got four attacks, so he'll at least put him on the ground. Yeah, yeah. The Baron's, he'll, he'll tell him to sit down. The yeah. Baron's playing the sweeper role. Yeah, just hanging out in the backfield, waiting to clean up some garbage. Um, yeah. if it yeah. if it comes over. Um, and yeah, I mean, he's happy to do so. He's got the loot on him too, so he can just sit back there and 
throw Bane Chant all game while waiting. Yeah. It's a great unit for its points. It's so cheap. It's so it's, cheap. It's, it's 60 points. I mean, very inspiring. Uh, Alex, very, like, Alex has him, uh, has him on, on the horse. You don't even need to have him on the horse. Just mm. 85 points. Yeah. Six, nine, it's five, two, it's two, about it's ten points more than every other army's ASB, and just infinitely better because again, mm -hmm. it, it can punch real good. It can yeah, it's very inspiring to pretty much all your army because all you're taking are probably humans unless you have some, at least you're blocked that they're inspiring. You're going to be humans. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, just having four attacks like I paid the extra points just for that. Yeah, yeah. he's like a little red I, king. That hit, yeah, that hit on threes with crushing one. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's really good. <laughs> it's really good for the points. It's like the Rorty list just built itself. Right, so what so would Alan. we be doing if we were Alan here? And is that the right pronunciation of his name? Because I don't know him. Uh, yeah. Boehner? Boehner, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's in our region. We, we play him often. He's one of the uh, Pennsylvania dudes. Yeah, he's, he's in... Uh, I'm in South Central PA. He's kind of him and the Nerdhammer crew are like uh, north and Allentown. east of me. Yeah, yeah, Allentown. You're saying places like I know where they are. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. For those of you who are intimately familiar with the geography of Pennsylvania. Yeah. Um, is, it, is it the part with water or is it the part with Amish? That's, um, that's my geography kind of in Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah. Or the pile of chocolate. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> so the, I, I live close ha to... Harrisburg is very close to the part with chocolate. So, yeah. There yeah. we go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I, I live fairly near... I live like 30 minutes from Amis and Chocolate Land. Yeah. And those guys are those guys are probably equal distance on the other side. They're closer to Philly. So, they're they're closer to water. Yeah. Yeah, there's like the part of Pennsylvania that, that's really sort of New Jersey. Yeah, um, yeah, it's New Jersey, and then you go a little bit then, further north, and that's the the part of Pennsylvania that that's just New York, New York yeah, City. Yeah, that's like just New York, Virginia. and the whole part in the middle that's really just Kentucky and West Virginia. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah it's the Midwest. Yeah, yeah, and then Pittsburgh, I guess, is really sort of Ohio. Yeah, Pittsburgh's a part of Ohio. And, I mean, yep. I mean, no offense to people from Pennsylvania, I can play that exact same game with Virginia. And there's really only like 20, 20 square miles in the middle of the state that's actually Virginia and everywhere else is something else. Yeah. Um, so if I was Boehner, um, I mean, the the honor guard kind of troubled me because they've got me out range and I'm going to get punched first. Um, so I kind of don't want to step out of the forest with anything nope. that I want to keep alive to pick up those tokens. But I feel like i got to get to the tokens first and then get back into cover. Um and I really I mean, feel like I, I can't let that one mounted scout just walk over next round and pick up that token or I'm gonna have trouble. So I think I, I think I gotta cut the cut the Pegasus to the middle and try to lightning bolt them off the field. Are are the honor guard facing up against the forest shamblers that scary? If if they're weakest and fa phalanxed? Like <laughs> uh, no. if they're weakness yeah, and phalanxed, no. But um yeah. So at that point you're hitting on you're, you're hitting on fours and then rooting on fives, I think. If that math's great. Right. Yeah. If, if he gets the main chain off, I mean, it's still not great. Yeah. Not sure. But I would be concerned about um, Alex shooting Kapoka off the table. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. Because he did two <laughs> wounds the first round. He does two wounds again and gets a decent nerve roll. He could be gone. And then you've lost Phalanx. Yeah. So um, am, I, am I crazy or um, is Alan's army just have no chaff no no it doesn't no. there's no, no it's 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 mostly anvils with a couple of pseudo hammers yeah. right yeah i mean um, some flying spice this yeah. this feels like it's just an interesting one you don't you don't need chaff and there's a bunch of arguments around everything is chaff in the right moment and whatever but like i'm not seeing a lot he can throw away in right, this, like there's right there's now. no Pegasus, there's no Pegasus to to get in the way. There's no woodland critters or centaur troops or cent, you know mm -hmm. yeah. that you can but just. I, I think I he's also, just planning on taking a punch. Yeah, I taking also a don't punch see a, surviving. 
yeah, and and I can sort of see that, and I can see him just sort of presenting a battle line that Alex can't break any single one of those units in one go if he if he does it right, if he angles correctly mm -hmm. and sort of prevents double charges and that sort of thing. But I also sort of feel like these two the battle lines are just gonna kind of come up to each other yep. and fight, <laughs> and whoever loses a key unit first is just gonna lose uh, it just it's it's a weird looking army because there's usually all of these other moving pieces mm -hmm. that complicate the the geometry and yep. they're just not here for alan's side <laughs> they sure. just don't exist yeah he he does usually play elves i don't know how long he's been playing forces of nature so when i saw this i kind of looked at it and it was like okay i can kind of see how you get from an elf list to here right because i don't think he played much chaff if any, when he played elves either. No. I mean, he, he, Alan took second at best of the rest of the U.S. Masters last year. And he had like a couple of Battle Cat troops, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I hope he remembers that he has Meat of Madness right now. Mm. That's the, just the, straight up flank. Can you see him though? I think he can draw a line there if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, okay, he's... with that pivot, he won't be able to. Yeah, yeah. there we go. He may have just decided that's not a great move. Though, so mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's the old, can I can I make this work? No. Mm -hmm. yeah, Let right. me try again. Let me try it yeah. at a different starting angle. <laughs> that's the problem. It was my starting angle. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I mean, Alex effectively has four chaff pieces because late game those. Uh, Wizards on peg become great chaff. Yeah, okay, yeah they're great chaff. Mm -hmm. They're jalapeno chaff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, one of them doesn't want to be. No, uh, no. I mean, neither of them want to be, but uh, one of them it's, does have the inspiring talisman, and he's yeah. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of like you know wingets or uh, mm -hmm. or like abyssal warlocks. They're, yeah. they're they're great chaff when they need to be. Like, and they turn fives and six, and they're like, okay, you're just going to die and get in the leg and, you know, save me. But the, the oh. first couple of turns, they've got some spiciness to them with some shooting. So it doesn't look like he's going to take those pot shots at the scouts because he is trying to keep his he's... phalanxy yeah. monster yeah, so alive. We gotta, so we got to heal off with the druid, it looks like, on Kaboka, and then whatever. Uh, yeah. Now, those mounted scouts have a decent chance of grounding the east of nature next turn. Especially with uh, the thunderous charge. Yeah. yeah. Does he want that? Or does he just I want mean, to he I think grab he's an objective and peace out? Yeah, I think he just he grabs that objective on the left and just then yeah. rides off into the sunset. Like yeah. the beast doesn't even have arc on him. No. No, but I, I mean, it would be tasty to move the move the duke onto the token, crown the flyer, and then next turn if you wanted to pop them. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really work out. Yeah, you you you're, you would put that one wound through, then you have a piece of the nature coming back that yeah. well could do five or six, five maybe, um, and then has a good chance of, of popping them and then turns to face, yeah. turns to face the I mean, the I duke. love... I love a mounted scout charge off a hill. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> like they get on top of that hill, they get height six, they start feeling brave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> charge. And it, is... and it is one of those things. Kings of War is not that type of game, but I do love in rule sets where they uh, give certain units, like you don't have a choice, you have to charge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. go, go, yeah. Like uh, what was the Bretonian um, and Errant Knights? Yeah. Had that that where they're just like, there. There's the first time in like night armor. They're like, okay, let's go. <laughs> and there's there's a bunch of rule sets that give you like a one in six or whatever chance of charging. And I've had plenty of times where like my like scouting archers on the hill are like, screw this, we're charging, we're going in, <laughs> yeah, we're going in, guys. They have Leroy the Jenkins in it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so I think Alan is trying to decide what he wants to shoot with his with his boomstick. Because right now, yeah, if he's going to try to take the the boomstick whiz or the um, or the battle shrine, but either it's way, like a, I mean, it's a da I think it's a fourteen break nerve on either of them because the 
Um, the boomstick guy is uh, weakness. Five. Okay. Yep. So that was that was weakness on the honor guard on the far right. Yeah. Yeah, but I think I mean Jesse had a really good point, which is there's that Duke that's sitting there whose only job right now is to cover the backfield, inspire people, and undo yep. weakness. Right. Yep. <laughs> like he's just standing around being like, uh, oh, we're not weak anymore. We banged Yeah, you. I got um, this. So he we might be slightly... lightning bolting that guy then? Is that what's happening now? Yeah, 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 it's like it. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's so two on the Duke. It's actually not a terrible okay. shoot my support that. character. I'll shoot your support character. Yeah. All right, Duke shows off. Yeah, I mean, if yeah, it's a good target here. Get yeah, rid of one uh, of the pieces I, I, because yeah, I initially the the boomstick um, wizard would be a, a good choice, but he's rallied, so he's. You know, twelve fourteen as opposed to so mm -hmm. you can't get a you really would have to kind of roll the nets out and then I have a double a high nerve, so that damn battle shrine. I just want to say that charge so bad. <laughs> <laughs> the scouts do it. Every every scenario is killing to try hard enough. I just normally I'd be with you. I love I love a <laughs> no, it's an I easy love a token. scout. <laughs> I love a scout, you know, impacting the battle in ways people yeah. maybe don't expect. Um, they can definitely ground him, they can cause some trouble. Uh, I just think I just think this game becomes so much easier if you only mm -hmm. need to take one of those tokens. Yeah, yeah. right. Right. And so him turning that beast is just opening yourself up for it. Um, to just grab that and scoot right out. And there's even, it's like a racetrack around that thing. Like you grab it, you could actually yeah, you, double move at this point. You could mm -hmm. hide behind that building. You could hide behind the woods. You're, it's just like. Oh, I wouldn't go that close. So both of them took, if you're looking at the clock, both of them took just. Ellen actually took a. A little bit longer, mm -hmm. but they they both got plenty of time. Yeah, yeah. and I mean these that. are the crucial turns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. that sounds yeah. like a challenge. Although it is 1995, <laughs> like come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Smallish. Well, it just seems. I mean, it seems like Alan's list is a 2250 or 2300. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> We're this doing it. it. The yeah, beast I'm... picks up the token, they charge, and then, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Why would you and... pick up the token with the guy that flies and has beat him bad? Whatever. <laughs> because you can. Yeah. Uh, well, because there's, just no, gonna... <laughs> cause there's no answer to it. Yeah. Right. Um, now, he is, he is betting pretty heavily that he is going to kill this beast of nature. Um, eventually. Mm. Right? Eventually, with the, yeah. with the duke, you know, delivering the coup de grace. That's what he's betting on. Because if not, you're you're just literally hand delivering a token to it. Mm -hmm. right. right, you're bringing it closer to them, and, and yeah. But there's there's nothing else that can respond. No, and like there's also uh, yeah, exactly. Those primes yeah. can't turn because nope. there's way too much looking at them. Um, mm -hmm. He doesn't have any chaff or anything over there to cover or plug up that mm -hmm. central honor guard unit. Yep. Like there's nothing to just slap it in the face, stop it so that your primes can turn and affect the left. It's yeah. It's hanging in the breeze if it tries to turn at all. So that that prime unit is basically frozen in place just by threats in front of it. Um I mean it can move forward, it can affect the battle, but it's it's not redeploying in any real mm -hmm. way. So um Yeah, I mean it it could work out. And uh, I mean, <laughs> they're like, inspired if it works, now. If it works, he's, you know, he has a dead beast of nature and he has a token mm -hmm. sitting on a a flyer in his opponent's backfield that can kind of do what it wants. Um, yeah, right. And, and ultimately, the, the, I, I think, I mean, if he, if he gets the, you know, the Hail Mary and actually takes off the beast of nature, um, that's great. Then the, the, the Duke goes and flies off and does his stuff in the, the, the scouts go take the token. I mean, go tell. those scouts That's are not going to take the. No, no, they're not going to happen. I mean, like I, I love me a scout unit, but come on. 
<laughs> Stranger Things. If it happen. does, that's just luck. And like yeah. Alex shouldn't actually be rewarded for, for that. <laughs> <laughs> right. But I, I love a love a advantage. Take that charge off the hill. Why not? I mean, like the beast still has to kill the scouts in one shot. Yeah, he has yeah, the one shot. Is like a 50 50. Yeah, oh, actually, not, not even. Not, that's like a 50 50 to waver. Yeah. Right. Because they're. And I think they're. Are they within the, the nine of the. Oh, yeah. Inspiring? Oh, yeah. They're okay. Very much yeah. within it. So they're inspired, I think. Yeah, yeah. Beast has what? Seven attacks? Yeah, seven yeah. attacks. So hitting on threes, winning on twos with vicious. Yeah. So, so it's like 30 percent ish to waver, 17 to kill. I mean, that's pretty good. And then if he does it next turn. That beast is gone. Yeah. And he's deep in the backfield. It, I like it. Okay. It's the aggressive, it's the aggressive move. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And like that's I, thinking about this, he had two maneuverable pieces on that side, and mm -hmm. Helen had one. Yep. And he's pushing that advantage. Mm -hmm. Um he is outnumbered with flyers on the other flank. But one of them is is a shooty flyer, so it's not as big a deal. Um, but yeah, I definitely think he. I don't know about splitting those beasts of nature up. Like, he's got one covering each side, but on each side they're potentially getting, you know, counterplayed and not going to affect the game that much. Mm -hmm. So, two two on one flank might have been able to deal with these situations much better. Calculating the Kapoka arcs. <laughs> Kapoka's holding up a bunch of shrubberies and trees <laughs> right now. I'm a tree. I'm just your average run of the mill druid. How much surge potential is it surge for? Kapoka doesn't have surge, right? Uh, it's weakness and heal. So weakness and really, heal. the only surge that, he, that Alan has is the surge yeah. four on the druid. Uh, and the will father, father, father yeah. Oh yeah, the will father, yeah, yeah. will father has surge eight. But if I guess if you're, but if that's you know, it could work. It's yeah, there. no, I mean, I normally I don't love surge on sort of non-surge dedicated mm -hmm. casters because they're always I'm they're always, always like, doing, doing the, the other thing they're meant to yeah. be doing. Like I would rather do something like will father punching <laughs> stuff. Mm -hmm. But I feel like for the Wilt Father slash Tree Herder, I actually find it to be incredibly useful. Yeah. Because there's a lot of times its job is to stand there and take a punch. Yeah. Right. And the turn before you take the punch, you can search something or do yeah. something useful right. the, as you're positioning. I, I, I even like the like it on the Forest Warden because the Forest Warden is dirt cheap. Mm -hmm. It has uh, it, it, it's just maneuverable one that 40 mil base and it has it's only surge four but it's another one where he's great chaff he's able to do the you know but yeah but and yeah. i love but, i love the will father because it's it just standing in the middle of a battle line hurts your opponent <laughs> right it, 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 it both goes in there and cloaks a depth that's just yeah that hurts so alex is uh giving in to his natural tendencies and <laughs> he got kind of a no nosebleed pushing that close to the middle of the board and is now like whoa guys well mm -hmm. well let's well, let's 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 back up the edge this is that this was, is turn five stuff that was a yeah. little aggressive we don't actually want to fight this game we just want to kind of let our mounted scouts and uh flyer win the whole game for us so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna take a we're gonna take a step back and just see see how that's going um I mean, I don't hate. I I would like him to just be aggressive and push forward. But what he's doing is he's sort of daring them to come out and trying to get that charge off the hill. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what's going to kill these foot guard hordes because yeah. like there's there's no real damage output to be honest. Right. I mean, you would have to triple charge them with all the tree stuff. And even then, like and dash twenty four. Yeah. yeah, you need five. like. You need like a rear charge with a beast of nature and a front charge with a with the will father and something. Yeah, like right. if that beast of nature goes down on the left, it is it's gonna be an uphill battle. Right. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, um, what what takes down the foot guards is a second turn of combat. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> they're gonna win like, the grind. There's no like heal of, on Alex's list. All all of these things um, don't hit hard, but they also don't die. Yeah. So the the base of the list is to just get in someone's face and mm -hmm. not not lose, like not get run over. Um, I just don't know that he's gonna get a lot of turns of combat. <laughs> yeah, like that's the thing is like to win the grind. There's a lot of other things that are gonna come and hit you while you're trying to do it. Yeah. Um, the and salamander both the, primes... both the foot guard boards do have CS one. Because one of them yeah. has the root of strength, and the other one has the thunder gun unit with CS one. So do the they are. do the primes happen to have Strider or anything to deal with? Pathfinder, 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 okay. and uh, that's Phalanx. Phalanx. and Phalanx. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. They're 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 kind of those uh, those. Um, on regard over there, don't want anything uh, anything to do with to do with those salamanders. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, are those <clears throat> the sharpness ones? Yep. Oh, okay. Well, they may be a little bit. They lose their thunderous. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be scary. it'll be eighteen attacks, threes and fours. Mm -hmm. I mean. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> yeah, it's but just went deep. Uh, yeah, I mean that's why I kind of feel like whoever picks up the tokens, it's, it's gonna be hard to get them away because it's gonna take yeah. so long to kill the units. Yep. And especially if they wait to like turn four to start fighting, like whoever mm -hmm. whoever steps under the token first, like eh, might still be holding it at the end. Yeah, I just think. I mean, what it looks like is Alex is playing towards the spot in the battle where it's going well, which is his yep. right flank, Alan's left. If it goes the way it probably should, and it's a dice game, so should, it gets giant fucking yep. air quotes. Um, <laughs> it's, he, he has mounted scouts sitting there with the token if they want it, and a baron free to do what they want. Mm -hmm. um, injured mounted scouts, but whatever. Uh, they take the token and they fuck off, and then the Baron flank charges the or Duke or whatever that is on the the flyer. Um, flank charges the Primes with the Honor Guard going in the front. They're not going to break them in one, but they'll break them in two. Foot Guard pushes up to keep the you know other units honest, and and he just slowly Pac Man's from that flank. Yep. <laughs> And it all goes very bad. Now, this is a game where everything looks good until it doesn't. So, like, there's yeah. ways to prevent that from happening. But I feel like that's his current strategy with backing everything off. It's like, let's just let's just wait for that situation on the flank to resolve itself and the advantage to be gained. Yeah. Um, so either Alan has to hope that goes really well for him or he needs to find a way to push the pace. Um or set himself up for success with those two tokens. All right, so so far a total of one wound on Kapoda from two and one to more three. Wound. I think he's defense five. Let me double check. Yeah, I think he's defense. No, five. he's defense four. Oh, four, so, so two more. So two more. So that puts him at four, and he is twelve fourteen. So. Scouts are popping shots at the other beast of nature. Coming yeah. Hot. Oh, geez. Wow. All right. Scouts. Two wounds? No, just one. It's just one. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a wound, though. Yeah, it, wounds it a wound. A wound. Four, four more right. turns of this, and that beast of nature is almost carrying. Seven <laughs> will not do anything to yeah. Kapoda this turn. That's one shy of a waiver. And a 10 on the beast won't do anything either. Just uh, but switch he has, those rules. He has snuck his Baron over here into the flank of everything. And now for the combat. Here we Let's go. See if the scouts Big can get money. Out. Big money. Come on, scouts. Yeah. That's, a, that's aggressive. That's less aggressive. That's two. That's still okay. grounded. Yeah. Still grounded. Yep. Yeah. 
All right, and that is going to bring us to the bottom of two. So, like, where do you advance as Allen right now? It's tough. It, um, yeah, it really is. Like, you can't use. You, know, you can't move the salamanders up too far, no. because then you're. I don't know. Like, the salamanders are a really bad spot because mm-hmm. you got the Baron coming up the flank, and then. Yeah, but I mean, like it's coming into the flank regardless. Regardless, yeah, right? If he, so, you if might as well move up. You, <laughs> you might as well move up and pick up the token, token, and make him come kill you. Right. I, I mean, I don't know. I if if I walked up to this board state and they said pick a side, I would pick Alex's side to take yeah. over. Um, but I I think we got to remember, like these units are really hard to kill. On oh the yeah. Side. Yeah, and they don't go like, down easy. I kind of wish he was a little more aggressive of just like going up and like sitting on some tokens or grabbing mm-hmm. and and saying like you have to deal with this because there is that really annoying obstacle in the middle. Thanks for that, yep. Steve. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's yep that just makes like every one of those foot guard charges less effective. Mm-hmm. Um, right. What's the thunder gun? That Alex has CS one, yeah. And so and the that's foot guard, on one of the foot guard hordes. I think the one with the with the with the red, yeah, the Escher thing. Yeah. yeah, one of them. One, um, one of them has the brew of strength, and the other one just has the plus one from Thunder Gun. So they're both CS one. Yeah, yeah, but still defense five. I yes. kind of wish he had mm-hmm. gone all in and done the defense four CS two. You can't <laughs> stack it, right? With the Thunder Gun unit, you can't stack it. Yeah, oh, okay. you got the other one. You could have. Yeah, the other one would have been fun. <laughs> CS2 foot guard. Yeah, it's yeah. terrifying. They're, at that point, they're a palace guard horde without elite. Well, no. I don't know what I'm talking about. They're already a bad palace <laughs> yeah. They're already palace yeah. guard. They're already fearless palace guard. <laughs> they're already bad palace guard. <laughs> they're slow. They're slow and fearless. And, and don't have elite. Yeah. But that's okay. Because they're humans, and humans are better anyway. <laughs> okay, so um, is he trying to not fight the yeah. Mounted Scouts? He's trying to he seems out to be way. trying to not fight. He seems he's to be trying, trying to figure out, I think he's trying to figure out a way to block line of sight with the Beast yeah. of Nature to the Salamanders. The primes, yeah. he, did, he did the math. He was like, I don't like my odds punching yeah. these guys back. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Those Just mountain me. scouts must be so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Fight me, you oh, come back. Yeah. Me. Oh, there's back a here. spicy charge Ooh. over here. Yeah. And to, uh... Ooh. Did you let that happen? That's actually not a... That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, because... got uh, Pathfinder, so it doesn't care. Yeah, Beast Nature has Pathfinder, so that's... Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's five or you know, five wounds on a on that list of the Pegasus on Wizard, a, and that's on a 10 12. On a 12 12. I mean, you've got you've got a it's not a great chance. I mean, it's, it's seven. the same, same as the Mounted Scouts, yeah. But he is not in an exposed, no, position. no, no. Right. This is a good he, charge, yeah. Well, it's a good the, charge because the if Baron pop, over here can always whip around and come get you, but he'll be hindered. So it's four attacks on fours. He may or may not actually put a, put a ding on you, mm-hmm. Should, right. but, but if. But if he, you know, best case scenario, he takes up the wizard off and then just turns, and then you have there we them. go. Mm-hmm. There you are. See, the yeah. thing for me is what it does is it's forcing him to respond to something. Yeah, it's it's right, throwing right. that. It's what a lot of these kind of surprise charges do, which is it throws a chaos agent in, mm-hmm. and right. it's for me the key is that you have to support that chaos agent by moving your battle line into threatening positions. Mm -hmm. So he can't just deal with the force of the beast of nature and then go back to his original plan. He has to like kind of deal with both. Um, Cause like he could possibly sit the, the beast of nature down and then set up those uh, honor guard in a position to charge it. But now those honor guard are going to be much more interested. (laughs) Mounted scouts disappeared. We have a we have a magic disappearing unit that's supposed to be in the way there, maybe. Mm. 
yeah, the, the ballot sensors were, were there. That because because they they're ignore, going like, yeah, ignore uh, everything every, I just said. Yeah. They I think Alex had them covering the Pegasus from Oh us. yeah. I like how none of us <laughs> realized that a unit just disappeared. Yeah. I was like, what are you talking there about, was... Alex? They're still right in front of the beast of nature. No, there's another one. <laughs> no, the other Alex... mounted scouts in front of the other beast. Of nature. <laughs> uh... Alex just deleting units when no one's looking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a solid right. strategy. I... Yeah. <laughs> there's totally room for this charge when I just delete your uh, foot guard. Your blocker, yeah. I didn't even think about I didn't think twice about that charge. Yeah, like, no, that's legal. <laughs> Cyclones. Sure. <laughs> I don't even know what to call that. Just remember when when if you when if you can lose if you must always cheat. Yeah. <laughs> Just... You ain't cheating, you ain't trying. So yeah, what do you do if you're Alan to get out of this? Now that that charge is probably blocked. Uh, I still think you got to move the trees up this round, don't you? Yeah. You got to you got to get close to the objective at this point and just try and ferry it back to the stone elementals if you can. Right. I mean, you should be able to still make. Uh, it's tough. The angles are not are not ideal getting onto those tokens. Alex did his job in protecting them. Yeah. And the earth elementals I kind of see is like they're the they're the second line that's got a bad cleanup after they finally yeah. grind the primes out. And he has to go in and pick the token to back off of whatever took it from them. Right. Yeah, there's just so much. Yeah, what earth elementals don't like seeing are just big blocks of dudes. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, I mean they're defense five, so they're at least um getting use out of their their buffness. <laughs> like there it's it's not as bad as trying to just like grind through zombies yeah um but it's still like you know they're they're hitting on fours so the the quantity of attacks is going to be the difficult thing um oh, but... well maybe not i mean we'd be like now let's let's flip this around and make the earth elementals the front line and the primes the back line i guess you could turn them and make make one single line out of both of them so every so that the the general is in the front of both of them maybe, or out of range on one of them. Yeah, I'd so still want to see like if that beast of nature is staying there on the left flank. It can't or be, or if he's just considering other options because I think he's considering other options. Uh, yeah. yeah, there we go. Can't be just like yeah, we'll just we'll just expose the flank to these guys. Yeah, screw them. They had their shot. They they loved <laughs> it. I'm not scared of them anymore. Their moments passed. He's just in a tough position because he basically oh, yeah. has nothing to throw away. Yep. Right. Like yeah. Every one of those units needs to needs to contribute before it goes down. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Alex getting to go first and being and, and moving up as aggressively as he did kind yeah. of kind of screwed up his like sneaky. I'm going to scout out and get good position. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Play. So we got. There is one thing to sort of say. He's got 250 mil wide horde. I don't know if it's possible now, but if he pushes his three large infantry hordes sort of forward and the primes creep up behind and grab both tokens and then just start backing away and hope to live. <laughs> don't mind it's just, us. Yeah. It's, wide enough, it's wide enough to grab both. Yeah, um, yeah it's true. But, you know, sort of push up the Earth Elementals and hang up anyone who charges them on that uh, on that obstacle and just try and get something. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's, it's tough. It's this is tough. very... The thing I keep coming back to, though, is that, like... This is a very tough one. Alex's units aren't breaking stuff on the charge <laughs> in their current situation. No. Because they're no. clipping, they're going to clip that obstacle, they're going to clip woods, yep. they're going to do something. Yeah, um, they're going to run into things with phalanx. Yeah. Yeah. But I also don't see the counterattack from Alan breaking anything either. So yeah. no. it's, it's going to be... It's going to come down to some sketchy 
turn two, do you combine enough damage mm -hmm. from multiple units? Yeah. And I mean, Alex still has the mounted scouts to break up that first charge or first and, counter and, charge rather. And some pegs and yeah. whatever else. Yeah. There's the Duke. There's just all kinds of. Yeah. We needed those mounted scouts to disappear. Yeah. <laughs> Someone tried. Someone yeah. tried. <laughs> yeah, the Baron the Baron on horse hiding over there behind the rocks. Mm -hmm. It's gonna make it kind of annoying to get rid of him. I mean shooting him shooting him with lightning was a good plan for the first turn. And I feel like now he's gonna kinda of wanna get his his lightning bolt peg in a space to shoot at him again. Right. Um, I mean, this is the classic, it. this is the classic, like you have eight lightning bolt from one person mm -hmm. and it's great, but you have what, like four targets you want to shoot at right now. Right. With it. right. Yeah. And once you pick one of them, you kind of have to stick with it till it's dead and hope that it only yes. takes two turns. Yeah. yeah. And and he might be stuck in a situation where he's putting two wounds on all four of those targets instead right. of eight on one of them. Right. So we'll, we'll see, but it's it's why a lot of times you see people opt for multiple. You know, yeah. once you start investing in the lightning bolt, you bring yeah, in a card. And maybe just, that's just the nineteen ninety five versus twenty three hundred that right. there yeah. are two yeah. two yeah. more yeah. unicorns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Alex still managed to fit what fifteen in here. <laughs> Yeah. Good old Rordia. Good old Rordia. I mean, the Battle Shrine's kind of the Battle Shrine's kind of cheating, right? Because like, even if it didn't yeah. have Lightning Bolt Six, it would probably be still be worth taking just because it's got. Oh, right absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It would still be appropriately costed. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> I don't. I don't mind it though because it's it's a living legend, so mm -hmm. you can't. Sure. Like, sure, it's the it's thing three. that's in every army, but you right. you don't get more than one of them. You don't get three. No. Of them. No, I I mean it's the it's one of the big reasons to play Rordia. It's just such a great unit, and right. the modeling opportunities for it are great. Right, um, Alex is well. Alex and a couple of other Rordia players have this have Fighting Bolt Fifteen, not mm -hmm. to be uh, outdone by Keith Randall, who is bringing, <laughs> uh, I think, Lightning Bolt Seventeen, yeah. and his uh, Elf and with Forces of Nature allies. <laughs> I love that <laughs> ally package. That it's, ally package is terrifying, though. Yeah, it's it's lightning bolt eighteen. Sorry, because it's two lightning bolt fives, one from a, a wing unicorn, one from a regular elf mage, and then there's an elf mage yep. with the boomstick. So it's eighteen, uh -huh. and that's a lead lightning bolt. That's a lead. Well, yeah, uh, thirteen of it is a lead lightning bolt. Yeah. For those of you who aren't familiar, what it's like to play in the southeast U.S. region. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and that's pretty much sums it up to uh, Nyad Hurst Heart Piercers and mm -hmm. um, Blade Stalkers. So there's just a lot of it's all for up shooting. Yeah. What could go right. wrong if these unlock? All right. Alan taking a good long while to make sure he's got everything exactly where he wants it on this turn. And, you know, turn two, possibly yeah. the most important turn in the game positioning wise. Yep. Right. I would like to yeah, it's usually where I spend the trees. It's usually but, where I spend um, the most time unfucking my deployment. Yeah, <laughs> basically, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, you deploy round one is basically just slide my deployment forward because that's where right. I want everything. And then turn two is like, okay, now what do I need to do for the game? Yeah. You spend half your clock on it. Yeah. This is the one unfortunate thing about the unicorn being in the forest for trying to pick targets now is that he's just going to keep being affected by the cover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, they need the shade down there in the southeast because it's so humid, right? Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, Beast of Nature, bottom left corner. If this was you, you've been in the tank for 10 minutes. What are you doing with it? Oh, nothing. You Countercharge, I guess. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So here comes he the heel on Capona. He dropped it into the bad odds. Mm -hmm. 
that's a good heal. That's a damn good heal. That's all four yeah. of them, isn't it? <laughs> so I get phalanx right. stays forever. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> what I think of all your lightning bolt. Right was that the druid heal or was that the unicorn? That was the unicorn, unicorn heal. heal. Okay. The oh. druid can... Don't got to worry about cover on heal. Yeah. yeah. That's right. But that's, I mean, he's he's undoing threats. He's not doing anything to change yeah. the hard state with that. Right. I guess right. the uh, the other guys out of range, eh? No, he's yeah, still in there's, range. There's weakness. Yeah, weakness. Yeah, I... Yeah, I don't know that that was a bad option. Like, yeah, I, I mean, right? If he, if he, you'd have to extend the unicorn into a really mm -hmm. unfavorable position to get a shot, a cover shot on the Baron again, yeah. and then the other units that you would want to shoot are also in cover. So, right, and that's that's not really the trade you want to make, right? We're like, well, I I managed to kill your Baron, and you killed Capota. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. This is the big one. All right. On to combat. Dun, 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 dun. Five, five hits. Wounded dun, 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 on what? Dun, 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 twos with vicious. Twos with vicious. Yeah. Yep. So there's five oh, wounds. Cool. And they yeah, are what, yeah. 10 12 on the mounted scouts? Yep. 10 12. Oh, here it comes. Yep. Nerve. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, they're not even wavered. Oh, oh they're going to get to fight. <laughs> they're going to fight too. They're going to finish what they started. <laughs> yeah. Mounted scouts. No, no, it's oh, and he can just charge with the token. Yep. Yeah, he's close enough. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> the next turn, he drops it and it goes off and does. Yep. Does whatever. Yeah, does whatever the hell he wants to. So, scouts, man, off that hill. Profit. So, the uh, scouts now should do. I mean, how. We're sort of saying this is a foregone conclusion, but like, what really are the numbers on that character d dunking on that beast of nature? This turn? so I know it's uh, right to the, make the charge. The, the the Duke on Winged Arrows has seven attacks on threes, oh, oh, crushing okay. two, thunder okay. one, so crushing two, thunder one. Three. That's yeah. so it's gonna so it's gonna wound on twos. Seventeen two wounds already, not inspired. Yes, yeah, so that's 14 so attacks Duke, on threes. Duke alone has a 73% chance to wave or 53% chance to kill. That's not including the mounted scouts. The yeah. mounted scouts will put in a one, one yeah, point. Yeah, extra. So yeah. Yeah. Let's say one more, then we're yeah. up to 89. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the beast oh, is 15, 17. 79. The beast is 15, 17. We're figuring the Duke is going to put, what, eight wounds? Eight yeah. to ten wounds himself? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, even a waiver at that point is fine for him. I mean, it slows yeah. it down. He did leave the token. That <laughs> is interesting. That might be something he's just going to move later. Yeah. He, we, we, yeah. Or I guess he didn't. Uh, or, or I guess it really doesn't matter. Like the mounted scouts can go over there and pick it up next. Yeah. Turn. Right. But I mean, that's if they don't get lightning banking. bolted to death. Yeah. <laughs> Well, even then, it's going to take an entire turn for the unicorn to get in range. True. So, um, in my in my brief recap of this, I might be harsh. And when Alan's army just refuses to die, and he's still standing on two tokens at the end, I'm going to look foolish. But right now, a, a chaffless forces of nature army is staring at a slightly chaffy Rordia list and oh god, like Alex, you're backing out. <laughs> <laughs> it's apparently just oh, scaring Alex. them away with their stares. It's like in a, there's well, some aggressive posturing. He's just yeah. keeping the primes. There's, the there's, just, there's a lot of there's a lot of chatter, a lot of chippiness going on well, here. The, the sure, honor guard so, are but, basically but, back at their starting position. So. They, they are, but here's the thing: is that you. You don't want to move so far forward that on his next turn, Alan could charge and end on the tokens and pick them up and charge at the same time. This right. way, if he wants to try to get up there, like he's he's either got to walk up and pick up the token and then get charged. Yeah. You know, and he doesn't have the speed to get to you. Yeah, right now he's only giving the Earth Elementals and the Forest Shamblers and right. the Wolf Father. How, he's, I mean, can we click on the Primes? Sure. I think, I think he's... Okay. I think he's waiting for the Duke to be freed up to get something in the flank or rear next turn. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. just... 
like, I don't know. It could work. It's just, it feels tight. If, if he, he's moved forward again, but if he keeps backing up, like, you don't want to leave it too late. <laughs> yeah. Even, even with that Duke coming in, like, you, you don't want to leave it. Because they could waver the guy this turn, and then it's another turn of waiting. Right. And then mm -hmm. Right. Just... It, it is a dice game, so there's that, you know. Yeah, I feel like the longer the game goes without people picking up tokens, it probably favors Bainer. Maybe. I'm not sure that that's true, but that's kind of how it feels to me. Yeah, I mean, because if he backs up again, there's... No, you don't want him to get the tokens. That's just not not a great scene. Yeah, and I mean, what's interesting here, and something he might be trying, is um, if he gets one of those tokens <laughs> in the middle and, yeah. and does not get immediately slapped for it, he wins. Because mm -hmm. he, can, he can pass it back the the battle shrine can take it and just yeah. stand there and say you're not you're not getting it right um so yeah. there's you'll, it's definitely, we'll chew through uh we'll chew through wizards on pegasus is for two turns trying to get to me right yeah, so i think there's something alex is trying to set up a little tricky where he can like pivot over guard his side with with his, oh he's gonna try to make it unhindered yeah, and, and yeah. set up a, a yeah. unhindered double charge on the primes, hopefully with a duke in the flank. <laughs> um, is his eventual goal, mm -hmm. if that works out. Um, I just think he does need to be careful and watch out for, for a Shambler flank surges mm -hmm. around like the back corner there. Where it moves up, pivots, and then searches in. Um, so we'll see. I mean, he might even, if he pulls off the double here, the battle shrine's going to be in a good place just to pivot and grab that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a great feeling True. when you have a second line mm -hmm. and you can charge into his front line and start grinding. And then um, at the same time, just move something up and pick up a token. Yeah. But he's going in. Yeah. yeah. He's doing that. I'm not sure that that infantry horde is going to fit because the earth elementals are forward a little bit. So I'm not sure he's going to be able to. I'm not sure he's going to be able to complete this charge. I guess they're I think they're going to fit. I might be able to. Oh, they are going to fit. All right. And, and the. Uh, once he touches, unless I'm wrong about the rules, I could be. Wouldn't at that point the um, once he makes that contact, the honor guard could keep sliding over to make room to actually fit, right? Yeah, in which case their final position would be even further to the left. Yeah. Yeah, but which I would think, make I think the chart even easier. Yeah. Anyways, they fit. He's doubled. I think he figured out that that was unhindered. Did he back the battle shrine out? I think so. I think, I think that's just his natural it. move. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think when in that doubt, he backs I, up. Yeah, well, if the battle shrine had to in order for the yeah. That's what guard to fit. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those, like, give him room. Just give him room. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't walk forward and like tempt earth elementals to run over there and punch you. So if this doesn't kill them, like earth elementals are just loving it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Right? Like am I crazy? Is this risky? <laughs> I mean they're still gonna be hindered, right? No. I, don't think so. I think he. I think he avoided the hindered. I think. Yeah, no, no, no. The, the mean, earth uh, elementals. The earth elementals be hindered. Yeah. No. Yeah. Matt Croger is spending a yeah, a he, lot he of time in the chat complimenting us and Steve's appearance. Yeah. <laughs> 
which I appreciate. So keep yeah. it up, Matt. Yeah, I, I you honor me. <laughs> um, so the primes have phalanx. That's only gonna help for the against mm -hmm. the honor guard. Um, and then the foot guard, you know, 25 attacks at non threes with crushing one. Primes are 21, 23. 21, 23, yep. Yeah. Is the, are they within the jurors inspired? Yeah, yeah, they're okay. inspired. Okay. Yeah. Just barely, but close enough. Now we got I mean, weakened, what, weakened honor guard? And yeah. Scout's going on. Far shamblers, right? So threes and threes and fours from the yeah. foot guard should be right. like eight, right? right. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then the honor guard against phalanx. So that would be fours and fours. Yeah. Because so, they, they have sharpness. Yeah. So but like, oh, oh yeah, that's right. They have sharpness. Yeah. Yeah. Three, so yeah, four, it's like so 50, 50, 50 to waver. Good God. I mean, am I weird? Like, that's a, a, a counter charge from the primes and a flank charge from the elementals, elementals should pick up foot guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think. Maybe not. Maybe close. I mean, they're going to be dash 24 self inspired this turn. Yeah. Uh, and then the sharpness guys will probably pick up the. Very hurt primes. Yeah, yeah. The the primes mm -hmm. the primes lose. But yeah. Yeah. And that's his I just feel like here, so. I feel like we're looking at a situation where it's un unhurt elementals against unhurt honor card. Yeah. And the way it's shaping out is that the elementals could actually be sitting on the token at that point. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 All right. So here comes Alex's lightning bolts. Going for the oh, not going for Kapoda. I guess he probably didn't have line of sight, so he's just going to shoot yeah. at far shamblers. Is that the Duke have radiance of life or something? He does. Okay, he does. So that yeah, was he one heal on these mad scouts over here from radiance of life. Because air air lessons are the best boys. <laughs> <laughs> the very best boys. They're the best boys. They're just such yeah. Cool boys. yeah, 13 out of 10. Yeah, for the for the record, anyone listening, um, the primes have a tournament specific item mm -hmm. um, that is giving them phalanx and pathfinder. Yeah. And the uh, foot guard that charged them have a tournament specific item that is giving them crushing strength and crushing good looks. <laughs> no, is, there, is there something else to it? Like, yeah, they're just crushing. Yeah, the, the one upgrade is crushing fails strength. to get fails to get Bane Chant off on oh, the weekend honor guard. So they are Duke. You had one fucking job. <laughs> yeah, so for real. they're four, fours and fours. <laughs> Actually, Duke, you had like. Six jobs, but this yeah. was one of them. All right, let's see where he wants to get started. I mean, they weren't. I don't no, know. I didn't. I didn't think they were going to break them in one turn. Either. No, they weren't. So, you just start the fight. All right, Duke on winged arrows in the flank. No, that's going to be the this mounted scouts on the front first. Putting up two, which is doing his, more but, than but they needed to. Converts yeah. to two, yeah. and now yeah. eight hits. And seven wounds. Seven wounds. It's a little light, but and that's it. A nine yeah. will do it. Yep. Peace out. Well, I mean, that just made the game a lot easier for Alex. Yep. Yeah. So he was he was betting on that sort of happening when he charged a bunch of other stuff in. Right. And and it did. So now he gets to hopefully get his pick of things to finish off towards the middle. Yep, so now we've got foot guard and honor guard against crimes with phalanx. Here's the so, honor guard. 
11 hits because they've got sharpness, so that counteracts phalanx. But, but only four wounds. Ooh. That's right on curve. And that's aggressive. Mm, 10. 14. 10. So that's 14. Uh, so need a 9. And there's an 8. That'll waver. Yep. That's big. Because that that elemental big. flank's not going to really. I mean, not on their own. It's, yeah. it's not going to hurt that bad. No. Because they should be hindered, right? They should they be will, slammed yeah. onto that. Yeah. Is there a that way that sweet, sweet rock wall? <laughs> I mean, that'd be... That's where I got my hindered flank and thanks well, again, the... Steve. Fucked up my yeah. game. <laughs> well, it, I think if I don't know, you could possibly get it unhindered with the with the druid up. The druid has there's, there's a oh, druid. I see right? the druid. Yeah, because the I druid see. has pathfinder, so you can move the druid up to twelve. To block the wall. I would one hundred percent say that's worth it at this point. Yeah, mm -hmm. because I mean the druid is doing nothing else. And you're giving up bane chant there. Um, I'm assuming it has bane chant. I, I don't actually even know. Mounted scouts do two wounds. The forest shamblers. Mounted scouts, scouts are, are coming in hot. Yeah, they're not fucking scouts around. <laughs> How did they do that? They didn't actually bring bows. No, they don't force okay. <laughs> They're there. The Only spear two. armed ones. Well, uh, in, in hindsight, the bane chant wouldn't have mattered. And a need roll, that's not gonna be enough. <clears throat> yeah, like dash seventeen, I think. Yeah. Yep. The big combat's this run for Alex White and his Wait, fingers. wait a minute. Wait a minute. The mounted scouts did as much as the honor guard? I'm sure did. You, man. Yep. <laughs> MVPs. It's their day. MVP. It's gonna need an upgrade. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. No one does have so uh, going, I guess, left to right, and are probably going to see Earth Elementals in the flank. Yeah. Yeah. Hindered Earth Elementals, which. Uh, he didn't see it. Yeah, I don't. I don't. He may be trying to just forego it. And we'll see. Have, mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see. We'll but, see if the druid goes and does something else. Hella clutch. Yeah. Um, I just think that because Earth Elemental is naturally hit on fours, right? Yeah. yeah. I think eighteen attacks. You know, thirty-six attack on fours versus thirty. Oh, he might be. He might be thinking might, about it now. Yeah. Be like, wait versus, a second. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What am I going to surge or heal to this turn? Nothing. All right. Let me throw yeah. this. But I mean, like, like 30, well, he's probably not breaking them, right? Because no, I mean, it's got it's like nine wounds if they're unhindered. There we go. Yeah, that's what you want. <laughs> like he's probably not breaking them, but he has a shot at spiking that roll if he's unhindered and, right. and getting them in one. And he doesn't if they're if they're hindered. I don't think they're CS one, right? Yeah, CS2, yeah. No, I think they're CS1. Yeah, they're, 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 they're CS1. And Brutal. Oh, yeah. And, and brutal. brutal. So Yeah, so with Brutal, it's... It's about three, three... Well, right. yeah, Bane Chant. Too far to Bane but I think, yeah, to, to stop that, it's going to have gone too far. I think he went, if I, if I saw it correctly, in seven inches. Mm -hmm. just... So no Bane Chant unhindered is about 3%. And with That's being not. chance about eight percent, your odds are harsh in my my narrative. <laughs> well, and even then, they've got they've got indomitable will. To be That's that. It's a, their dash twenty four self inspiring. That's the yeah. That's the scary thing. They give no fuck. Foot, oh no, they're not inspired. Or sorry, not rallied. I'm calculating everything based on them being rallied. They're not no. dash twenty four. Uh, because the uh, yeah, the shrine's way too. The, shrine, back the, too the shrine had. To I just always back. expect the shrine to be there. Yeah, it's it's like, safe assumption. It, it's like when you're playing orcs, you're just assuming that well, there's a war drum there. That there's a drum. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that changes things. So now this fight, um, mm -hmm. actually could very much go the way of the trees. Yeah. With beast of nature yeah, added in. Nature. And there, and then you're going to get a. Um, Get a cloak, of death. cloak of death. I don't. I just don't mm. love that charge over there. I don't understand why he was doing it. 
I mean, even with the Bane Chant, if you got the Bane Chant off on the uh, on the Outer Guard, it's still not it's not a great odds of popping the uh, the Forest Shamblers. Yeah, that's just a lot of meat in there with like yeah. Beast of Nature. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, to a certain degree. Uh, I think he's just trying everything up while he goes. Yeah, I, that's two, what I'm. And then that's it. My brain's coming around to that being the strategy. Yeah, yeah is this is like, deal with this. I'm going to take right. these other two and I'll just win off that. And and I like that sort of mm -hmm. idea, but I think he could have almost done that by just threatening. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I think it was he early. Didn't actually, have to go in, um, because the idea here is like whatever else happens with these primes and elementals and all that, mm -hmm. right? That battle shrine or that wizard in the middle can go take that token. Right. The scouts take the other token. And he's winning two to one. And it, it doesn't even matter what happens on the right because mm -hmm. the battle shrine or the wizard just keep going. Just just keep going, yeah. And he's got nothing that can catch them. Um, they don't even have to go fast. Like, I will say I appreciate Steve the roads you drew on to the map. Because yeah, it makes the wall in the middle feel a little more like it should be there. Maybe. Yeah, that, that's and I originally had the, I, I originally had the wall more towards one of the the uh, the um, deployment zones, but then I'm like, you know, it, it'll, it, it makes more sense. It's like a guardrail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I always love uh, I always love slash hate when you have this battlefield laid out and like next to this pond, and like it halfway in between this pond and this hill is a section of wall. <laughs> what yeah. the. F An apprentice stonemason just decided to yeah, practice. He's, 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 I will own my craft, craft by this bond. Right. And I'm really bad at it, so I'm going to put it in the middle of nowhere so no one will ever see it. Right. When I'm a master at masonry, no one will be able to prove that I did it. That there'll be a hundred years later, there'll be a, a, a pitched battle that will just fuck up. This will fuck up it all. So I'm guessing he, he flew his... Uh, his peg over there because he's going to try to heal the primes and keep them alive for another turn. Uh, since he's backed them up in the terrain. Move too or far, I be. think. The flying one. Oh, the flying one. Yeah. 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 I, or he could be just trying to get the. Or lightning bolting the scouts. Yeah, yeah I think it's scouts. for next turn if the scouts grab the objective, he will be within range to fly ten and lightning bolt them. Right. Which is a good move there. Mm -hmm. Well, we will find out what he does. Yeah, he's, he's going for the lightning ball right now. He's going to try to get rid of it now, just to be yeah, like, hey, yeah. you sure you want to send that, that winged uh, Alvarez into combat? Or so no, get that I thought he moved it. like 12 inches, though. I don't think so. No, he was no, in the he forest. Was, he was already in the forest. That That's... Oh, okay. There's heal from Kapoka. Yeah. So we're going to think about, think about the other one a little bit more, maybe. Side effects are a little bit more good. Close combat. Uh, did he just forget to cast with the other dude? Right. He put the he put yeah. the circles on him like he was going to cast something and then didn't roll the dice. And then did heal. I Maybe think he in did total, move. Total it moved ten point four the first round and then an extra two. Oh, okay. So it did yeah. oh, okay. So he doesn't actually have uh so here we go. Four shamblers on honor guard. They need to live. And this it's is the beast. Weird to be saying that. But Ugh! Oh, the only one. The only one from the beast. And vicious says two. Yeah. So that puts him in nine, ten. No. Nine. Nine. Uh, this has been a. There's been four. some pathetic Oof. combat rolls. Yeah. 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 Like. The mounted scouts are consistently doing more damage output. Yeah, they're, they're, than they're a lot of them. other units. Four shamblers in the flank there. 
Oh God. Doing yeah. 17. Screw, yeah. Screw these scouts in particular. Yeah. This I mean, that's, the... it makes sense. Like yeah. they had nothing else to do. You get yeah. your reform. You might as well just guarantee. And then the scouts daddy death. chips, chips in an additional eight. So just goes. don't, just don't snake it. Yeah, here's the snakes. And there's an eight. Yeah, okay. And I don't uh, think they're inspired by anything there. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the unicorn in the back has the talisman. Oh, it does, oh, it does have the talisman. Yeah. Right. Or tag, rather. Yeah. That guy. Yep. So now what, you just re reform to land on the token, pick it up, and say hi to the yeah. foot guard next and, week? And angle so that the yeah. foot guard yeah, are angle so the foot, so the the foot guard are, are hindered. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's not going to do it. If he doesn't do it, then... That's, that's going to be spicy if he doesn't. I hope he has some other good reason to have. I think he's checking if the honor guard can. Oh, can can disengage and hit him? Yeah, now they can. Yeah, yeah, all the way, buddy. Uh, Keep you going. really want to use that wall? Yeah, yeah, because those foot they're gonna hurt. Coming steaming down the hill. Yeah, those are gonna be crushed two foot guards. Thund Thunder one. Well, they'll lose it from oh, yeah, well, Kapoka, right? Oh, right, right, right. Why? Because uh, TC on Phalanx? Yeah, you don't get uh, it. Doesn't it always strips it, right? Does yeah. it always strip it, or does it only strip it from cavalry? No, it always strips it. So, like, yeah. uh, it, oh, okay. like uh, when I play, when you have like goblin mincers, they have thunderous yeah, yeah. charge. And if they charge Phalanx, they don't get the thunder. Yeah, the way it basically oh, okay. works is it's it's two paragraphs. And the first paragraph, I mean, I say paragraph, it's a sentence. Um, <laughs> units that charge this unit's front cannot use the thunderous charge special rule. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. just like straight up, you don't get the thunderous charges. Yeah. Then, All right, but, addition, but then it ensnares flying shit and big shit. In yeah. addition, cavalry, yeah. large cavalry units would fly okay. that make an unhindered charge, so it's not double problems. Mm -hmm. um, suffer a minus one. All right, so that was eight eight wounds from the earth elementals and a yeah. five rolled for nerve, so those foot guard are fine. Chilling. And that is going to bring us to top of four, I believe. I don't think there's anything left to do. The no. nice thing with Alex just, is it... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I just, I don't understand why Alan didn't kept rotated the, those four shamblers to get... I moved. think he's trying to give a flank to his units, maybe. Right, um, oh, okay, yeah, because if, if they... I mean, if they bounce off of the... the Yep. Well, yeah. There it is. The problem yeah. solver. Yeah, yeah, the problem solver. He, yeah, but to say that the bounces <laughs> off the, the wolf father can get the flank, but you yeah, don't even need to charge. You can just fly up to it and insult him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you. Uh, I mean, you have to to fit in yeah. that gap. Yeah. To, to yeah. fit in the gap, but it's it's like he doesn't even care. Like that wizard isn't even trying. This to is actually this is where you want the Baron to get that main chain off on that foot guard horde. Yes. Yeah. Come on, Baron. You got one do you, job. Do you, do you think? <laughs> All right. Looks like the uh, the honor guard are going against the piece of nature, which mm -hmm. is probably less better. Which is probably the right thing to do, so that it doesn't just fly over and hit something yeah. else. Ground. Yeah. Because now your yeah. actual game, now the actual thing you are doing is playing. Keep the two tokens away. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And all of these combats are just bonus points, right? <laughs> So yeah. it's, I feel like it is now a game of, um, oh, and he might be tricky here. He might be trying to say, okay, good. He's not, um, it's like either your Pegasus or your battle shrine, go grab the, the token, mm -hmm. probably your Pegasus. And then you're just playing can like, I feel like the Pegasus grabs it and the battle shrine hangs around as backup. Yeah. And then that single unicorn needs to machine gun like multiple things. Great. Yeah. He needs to he needs to do like six wounds a piece for the next three, well, three turns. He's got, four he's, turns. He's got three turns. Four if he's lucky. Yeah, yeah four if he's lucky to to do like roll way above his weight and uh, with with counter battery fire happening. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Like, with with, with <laughs> With lightning bolt fifteen coming back at him. Well, and then right now it's only twelve, but yeah. There, there's part of me that says um, the flying fighty character from 
the Rodeo side should just go punch that unicorn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure he's in range now, but yeah, like, I don't know. That well, he's, got 20, he's got 21. But no, he's yeah, yeah. no. He's like I would be getting super greedy and using that Thunder Gun unit to confirm on the primes just for that extra battle point. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're not dropping the you're not dropping the elementals. Yeah, no. That, that, that'll, so that'll I actually like over. that. I actually like the thunder gun kills the primes. Yeah, start because getting tournament points. Yeah, right now they're getting two. They're all the way across the twenty four. So there's one as long as they live. They right, won't. and then and then they get they'll get one for an extra point for killing for a unit. confirming a kill. Yeah, but yeah. they're Does not gonna, a, they're not going to live, right? Like the the earth elementals. Another turn of them beating on them. Yeah. Starts getting them close to breaking. It's going to get close. Yeah. The thing is, hard. like, if he doesn't kill them, he could just disengage, back them up, and chaff them with the Duke if he really wants to keep them alive. But yeah. it's not great. Scouts. <laughs> Yep, so the scouts have picked up the token all the way over there on the left. Yep. And he and realistically he has one turn to kill them because they're piecing out around that forest. Oh yeah, then turn. then they're just, you know, they're gonna go hide. Mm -hmm. They're back in camp with their yep. loot. Right. So yeah, the the beast of nature is burdened. So if he's close enough to the Kapoka, he'll get the um the phalanx as well. Yeah, which he is. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't know if he's close enough, but I like that. I like that Keith has chimed in twice during this chat. One to <laughs> insult me, and one to ask about a rule he could have looked up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Keith. Thanks for participating. The beast of nature is verdant. So yeah. All right. So. This is definitely tilted in Alex's favor. Yeah. Um, due to some not great, not great combat rolls. Speaking and of Verdant, have the Forest Shamblers been rolling vicious this game? I yeah. don't remember seeing. Yeah, they have. Okay. Yeah, he has been. Yeah. <laughs> They've just been yeah, in they, the one combat. They, so. Yeah, it's they really, really it's needed that to uh, to flank the mounted scouts. <laughs> That that vicious was clutch on doing the so like, sixteen like, damage. Yeah. Alex is going to put the put the honor guard back into the forest shambles and having Mister Fix it tell the tell the piece of nature to sit down. Looks like it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I would have just spread that bean chant personally. Just try and confirm that token. Put it on another yeah, uh, piece. Feels greedy. Yeah, because the the barons is what 10, 12, or 11, 13? Um, 10, 12, I think. Baron is 10, 12. So there's, I mean, there, I mean, it's not great odds, but save every, everything goes in because the beast could counter charge, kill it, and then overrun, and then mm -hmm. he's back. He's back into the yeah. into the um, honor guard. No wounds from the boomstick peg. That's just one thing. hit, and no wounds. Yeah. So so much for counter battery this turn. Yep. That's um, why you need that's... twice as much lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's um, joking around with this like fifteen lightning bolt. Yeah. Got to pump those numbers up. And those are rookie numbers. He needs to get an allied regiment of of uh, night heart pierces and a unicorn. <laughs> All right, so here comes close combat. We've got the Duke in the flank. Six hindered. Hits. Still six hits. Know, still, wounds. yeah, still like four wounds. And then hindered I mean, on that's, guard. That's, that's just a reform, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. that dude flew in and was like, I'm helping. Yeah. You didn't need to be here. Right. <laughs> so eight. Uh, is it eight? They're hindered and ensnared. Are phalanx? Does it double up? No. No. Okay. Unhindered so, yeah. charges are affected by phalanx. 
Okay. So it should not mm. double up. So and it looks like they didn't roll it that way. And then a six yeah. should be enough with all those wounds. Yeah, I think yeah. they're uh, yeah. Yeah, they are but it's okay. And a ten That's will it. definitely get them. Yeah, come on. Like there's so many so too much Alex, on those guys. Yeah, Alex gets a, a bonus point for killing um Alan's Never got you. Yep. Oh, he had the opportunity to kill the other guy's thunder gun unit with his thunder gun unit. Yeah, yeah all right. Yeah. Not take it. The narrative play. Yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 that's totally the a dog there. Like, I might have only solo charged with the foot guard and backed the other ones <laughs> off just to watch <laughs> for, yeah. for effect. Yeah, so we'll have, to ask, we'll have to ask Alex, like, have you never seen Highlander or do you just hate it? <laughs> do, you, do you hate cool narrative battle moments. Right. There can be only Looks one. Like you hate yeah. cool narrative battle moments. <laughs> We're not calling you a power gamer. But... All right, so that's going to be the reform for the Duke. Just walking him forward in the field there. Doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure that uh, flying unicorn is going to be behind them next turn anyway. Yep. And now we have foot guard on earth elementals. Hitting on threes with a Thank counter charge. You. Oh dear lord. And wounded on fives? Yeah, only five. Five wounds. Five wounds. That's the old Earth Elemental. Think, what, 12 twice to get them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're dash 18. Oh, they're dash 18? Okay, never mind. Yeah, Earth Elemental are fine. Yeah. We have tried to break rocks. We have not broken rocks. Okay. All right, here's the Baron. Two hits. Nope. No wounds? No wounds. No wounds. That's what you get. Bane <laughs> chance. Come on, let them back into this game. We got a beast of nature, free, free to go cause havoc. Okay. Is he though? Is he tall enough to see over the honor guard? Yeah, he's high five, isn't he? Yeah, high five to four. Okay. Sees what he wants. <laughs> Only five wounds. Zero Six five. rolls. Will not I mean, I don't, him. I don't think that's gonna swing it, but like. It's definitely giving him a piece on the what? board with maneuverability that he shouldn't have. His foot guard on. Uh, yeah, that would have been, that would have been 13 him? wounds right there. Only seven. Should have been enchanted. Yeah. With seven wounds and a four roll, I think. I just feel like Alan has so, so few units that if you yeah. have the chance to take one off, yeah. You, yeah. you put your resources into taking it off. I agree. Yeah. And he, he spread out amongst three different targets instead of focusing anything and Oops. on that flank. And I think it's not going to matter because he's still going to... Although he didn't grab the token with any anyone. Like the wizard. About the anything. middle token? Yeah. Yeah. He'll get it in another turn or so. I'm guessing. Unless, unless this guy just flies unicorn. over and grabs it right now. <laughs> Cheeky unicorns. Like, token come on. Grab. Try to lightning bolt me. Oh, that the, would be so good. Because the Duke can't see it. But I, yeah. I, I mean, the, the battle shrine would just. The battle shrine go punch it. Enough, it. Have, have yeah. enough attacks. That would be hilarious, though. That'd be, that'd be great. <laughs> Unicorn just flies away. Peace. If, like, the druid runs over there and, like, punches the battle shrine and gets in the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'd be so good. <laughs> this the druid great. picks up the token. The druid's right not mighty, right? He just walks off with it. Yeah, the druid's no. not mighty. So no, the druid would have right. to do it. It would be a. Uh, a five and a five. A five and a five, yeah. yeah. Worth. Hashtag <laughs> worth. <laughs> Hashtag worth. You know a game is going well when you're like, I need this druid charge to work. <laughs> <laughs> In turn four. This isn't even like a turn seven Hail right. Mary. This is like, no, nah, mid-game strategy hinges around a yeah. druid doing one wound. It's like Madden 94. You just Hail Mary from the beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. your only strategy. Four, four verticals. <laughs> All right, so this beast of nature is free to do whatever, but I can't really see anything other than the stuff right in front of it. So right, it looks like he was trying to. Yeah, I don't know. he was trying to fly over and see what he can do. Yeah, I mean, he can get in position to do something cool next. Yeah, time, I mean, there's so, there's that. So hear so hear me out. <laughs> he flies over that way. Now, I would have angled him a little more to maybe protect your unicorn uh, when it picks up that token. How how does the Wiltfather get in there? 
Yeah, I, well, I guess he backs up. The one he's disengaged, put him in the front. One yeah. he's disengaged, puts him in the front, and then he goes in the yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. All right. But fine. I'm, fine. I'm just saying that beast of nature covers the winged unicorn when it goes in for that token. <laughs> and then swoops in next turn. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Like, because you're, you're you're gonna win that right hand token probably if you if you're Alan, you've you've got you know, Wilt Father, uh, Forest Shamblers doing work on on a very injured honor guard. Yeah. When Battle Shrine's only got six attacks on fours. Crushing one, one. The unicorn is 12, 14. Yeah, it, it's not, the unicorn's not doing anything. It's not taking out that unicorn. It's grounding it, but it'll have a token, so it doesn't matter. That's and then, yeah, it's, it's going to be grounded then, anyway. And the beast of nature comes and flanks it. And, uh, yeah. I'm just saying. I think stranger things have happened. Interesting. Like, the fight the is token. over the middle token. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you have a but, really crazy scenario to get it. And his banner. I just want to. Is he backing up into the forest? Is he dropping the token and backing up? Into, wait, then why drop the token? Oh, so he can be surged, maybe. What is he doing? I don't yeah. understand. You can't drop and pick up in the same turn, can you? No, because yeah. you yeah. you drop at the be. Yeah, I don't think. No, you can. I think you can drop and pick up. I don't know why you would. Yeah. Because, because like you can pick up like after come after a combat. Right. Because right, I think you drop at the beginning of movement and pick or pick up at the end. That's I'm not right. just gonna look. Yeah, or just look it up. Oh. Well, when go you after end a phase of its up. own turn, on top or in contact with a loot counter, it can pick it up. Right, but like he didn't need to drop it for what he just did there. Right, no. he could have just did that no matter what. He could have just dropped it, or, or could, could have just I, backed off and flanked it. So. You can't be surged, right, yeah. when you're holding the loot token. Right. Yeah. yeah, but I don't think he surged. He just withdrew, saw the flank of the yeah uh, the Pegasus, and then charged it. Cool. And so now he can get healed and then reform so he's in the woods so that if the foot guard hit him again, they're hindered. Uh, yeah. And Kapoka's out of sight. So Unicorn is going to do his best to chase down those. So those is there a cups. path to victory for Alan here, however slim? And what, How what far does that away look is, like? the, is the Unicorn from the um, Mounted Scouts? So He can Lightning Bolt him. Yeah, he can Lightning Bolt him, but I'm thinking like if cause Alex could move max 5 right now. And but the that, speeds, it's, it has a 20 inch charge range. He'll eventually, like, it, it's not this turn, but next turn could charge the mounted scouts if he doesn't kill them with a lightning bolt and then just take them off. To, that, he, the the sure. has to he moved too far to shoot this turn, right? Yeah, yeah. he gets you next this turn. So next turn, he would either. Next yeah, turn, Alex, they're if, behind the forest. I, but they're they're only speed five and they lose mm -hmm. the Okay. Yeah, for carrying a loot token. Hmm. Yeah, because if that if that works out, then then that puts us in the difficult position of like uh, Alex will have to decide whether to send the Duke on the Arales after the, the unicorn, unicorn that's that, that's chasing down the mounted scouts or support mm -hmm. the middle. And if the beast just flies over and picks up the token in the middle while everything else is trying to get through the Earth Elementals. I don't know. It'll be an interesting couple of turns. We'll see what happens. Yeah. I think Alex is letting them back into this game. I'm confused with the placement of the Honor Guard because they're not in arc for the Earth Elementals, so they can't shift up. 
to include them in the combat. They got them. They got a corner on them, right? Do they? My, yeah. No. Go through mine. And... No, they do not. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why are they faced that way? Uh, well, so well, so I think the the, the Earth Elemental's counter charge then may have slid up a little bit. Yeah, they slid up. Yep. Mm, so I think I, I, yeah, that, I think that's... I think he turned as as much as he thought he needed yeah. to, not realizing yeah, that they yeah. were going to slide. I mean, they okay. can at least go forward seven and pivot, but that's not ideal. No, um, you want to be yeah. killing. So this is going to be Bane Chant on some Earth Elementals. Yep. Yeah, okay. I think that first oh roll was probably heal on the or the far, the, far shamblers yeah, on the, the far shamblers on the right hand side. Yep, on the far right. And there's Bane Chant going off on the Earth Elementals, so they'll be crushing two. They'll be winning the foot guard on threes. Yep, fours and threes. Um, and you feel like this unicorn moved too far to lightning bolt. Yeah, round, that right? that moved twenty. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so it's. Uh, right. And now here's the Earth Elementals. Ten hits. Uh, ten hits on oh. eighteen. So they're at sixteen. Phoenix at sixteen, and they are not Twenty. rallied. Yeah. They are they're inspired, though. They are inspired, but they are not rallied. Right. He didn't. He didn't pop uh, his. Just a four. Okay. Yeah, that's a, they're firing. Yeah, yeah. He didn't pop Indomitable. Well. Yeah. This is when you pop it. The next turn. Yeah. He... Oh yeah, it was sketchy. That's a that's a scary one. All right. So four shamblers on honor guard. That's four. No, no. Hits. Or there's no uh, free rolls for vicious. Yeah. And then there's Alan a has some drop here. Hmm. There's a vicious from the wolf father. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That's a solid conversion. <laughs> and a seven will get them. Oh, and goodness. they're they're inspired they bears inspired. right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, so that that Pegasus has inspiring too. Six will still get them. Yep. Yeah. I have to say, Will Thought does a 90 degree turn to face towards the center, as mm -hmm. does the. It's got to move just a little bit further, I think. Okay. Yeah, he's on Capota, so he can't move. He can't stay there. There you go. This there is getting go. sketchy now. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, Alan's done a. Done, yeah. It's uh, looking gotten, really good. Yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to rub anything in, and I like Alex, and he's a very good player. They both are good players. But I feel like he let him back in. <laughs> I mean, both he made a couple. Didn't, yeah. yeah, some bad positioning. Yeah, there. Alex, and was, Alex was best was best general at uh, best of the rest last year, right? Mm -hmm. And so this mm -hmm. is like one two. So because Alan came yeah. in second. Yeah. So this is basically what God that that feels so what, long ago. What what round six <laughs> the before yeah. time? What what the top table round six of best of the rest? Oh. Oh. oh shit! Oh shit! Speaking oh, of letting no. somebody back into a game, oh no! Yeah, so so Sam Sam Nordberg, uh, at I think we got to notice it's seven twenty three right now when he rolled the snake eyes, and at seven twenty one, Sam Nordberg cursed him by saying he's had some rough nerve rolls. <laughs> <laughs> um, well. so a tricky thing here. This is actually something someone mentioned. Kow. Cowdemic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, you drop the token, you charge, and then at the end of your melee, assuming you don't roll a double one, you pick it up again. Right. So right now, he may technically not have picked up the token, which means uh, it may not matter, but Alex isn't going to get it for free. He would have to right. blow up the unit and move forward onto the token to get it. So it's a small kind of like Mm -hmm. Very fine margins play, but if mm -hmm. he was doing that sort of intentionally to guard against the double one, then congratulations, you got the double one. <laughs> right. So, way to hedge the hell out of your bets. But yeah, whenever whenever I talk about 
either like masters or best of the rest or that. It, I feel like I'm in the road warrior talking about the green, <laughs> the green place, <laughs> like the post-apocalyptic world. Like remember, remember the olden times when we right. pushed real toy soldiers around back in the green place. Yeah, I just I haven't played an in-person game, and I, I'm. It's just going to be weird to like to look at it at, at a table and not see the lines. I'm like I'm, play, I'm touching it. Where where my lines go? Yeah. Why can't I undo? Yeah. <laughs> I should just, just be able to do a people bunch standing of around yelling "undo" at a table for five minutes. <laughs> undo. <laughs> Where's the undo button? Yeah, battle shine. Uh -huh. He's trying to get it to where the battle shine's unhindered. Mm -hmm. The way I'm seeing this game is that that battle shrine is going to do more than the foot guard. So, that's a like rough someone, double one. I kind of yeah, that, that's that's, that's what a that's a double one where people complain about that. That's why people complain about the rule. Yeah, yeah. I I. I am fine with them because I, I, I think it's great. I have no problem with it. If you know, it's with pre measuring and the fact that this is a peace trading game and the fact that you essentially retain all of your combat value, unless you're devastated, which is rare, mm -hmm. you retain right. all your combat value, regardless of whether you are, you know, one, one point of damage below your nerve or undamaged. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think the game is already extremely predictable which is good. It makes it a very tactical game. Mm -hmm. So I think there right. needs to be yeah. a couple things in there that screw up your plans. Yeah. Little, <laughs> Speaking of devastated, that, that, that wizard on yep. peg is technically devastated right now, but it's only got one yeah. attack. I guess it can't lose its yeah. only attack. Yeah. <laughs> devastated to, to a minimum of one attack, I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, so, I'm yeah. not, I'm not trying to go too far into his, his current psychological condition, but if I'm Alan, I'm devastated personally. <laughs> regardless of what the the damage says because that yeah. yeah that double one was a kick in the teeth he was he was ready for um you know he was ready for that beast of nature to maybe start really influencing the game lock down that right hand token you have your yeah like you have your barely damaged uh, four shamblers on the far right. You have Wiltfather coming in, just spreading, spreading the death. Mm -hmm. and all of that now seems like a sideshow because those, yeah, the foot guards just get a free swing and get to pick up a unit and reform and just become a giant blocker. Or block, yeah, yeah, with the potential to cap out on objective points now. Yep. Topical reference. That foot guard is now going to be named the Evergreen. <laughs> <laughs> folks for people watching, watching this, this in the future, right? Folks <laughs> watching this in the future, it was a big deal for like a week. <laughs> it doesn't actually matter in the long scheme of things that have gone wrong in the last year and a half. So. How to charge range. <laughs> Right. Charge range in cover 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. No, it wouldn't be. Yeah, that would have been in charge range, but in cover. Got to do something but else. Force yeah. of the nature, probably don't care. No. I'm guessing. Yeah. In the corn. Hey, yeah, hey, you know, thank you, Corn. Got all of the Pathfinder. It does. All right. Coming down to 15 minutes left on Alex's clock. In the top of turn five. <laughs> that's, that's, that's got a couple more turns to get through here. Yeah. Yeah. I too feel like, like they live dangerously. <laughs> You cannot escape. Yeah, I mean this is this is really important, right? Because if he messes up the placement of this one and that 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 unicorn just swoops in and picks up that token, 
then that again lets Allen back into the game. Right. Because yeah. um, he was, he, I mean, Alex was maneuvering his Duke on Arales, um mm -hmm. to cover to cover yeah. it, but. Uh, But at that point, if you if you leave the if the unicorn goes punches the and takes off the um, takes the token from the mounted scouts, turns to face the the duke, mm -hmm. he's not going to take off the unicorn and what the, whatever is left of the game. Right. In one shot, he probably won't. right because the unicorn's defense five. Well, so it, it doesn't matter. It'd be, it it'd be threes and twos, but the unicorn is. 12, 12, 14, 14. 12, 14. Yeah, yeah. I think this turn you pretty much have to put try and put some chip damage on it with the right. the lighter the boomstick peg and just pray. Now a good overrun here, and then that might get out of our. I mean that's that's a dumb move, but. Good reform. If you're going to fly over there an angle like that, why not just land on the token and pick it up? Mm -hmm. You know, the beast of nature is going to come in there and try to take it from the next turn in the lane. But I guess now the battle shrine is blocking it, kind of. No, I can probably still get in there. Pick up the token and be an inch away, right? Can it see? Please. How tall is the battle shrine? I think high five. Yeah. Sorry, well, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. The, the the beast just needs to land on the token to pick it up. It doesn't need to be able to see it. Does it have uh, an inch clearance? Like, that's, uh, that's that's the point. It would. I'm not sure it would. Yeah. Looks like that's it might. eighteen. Yeah. It's, I don't think so. With the fifty so, mil base, uh, fifty probably not. It'll be it may, tight. Or, may or may not be able to catch a corner, but we'll have to see if the Baron will ground it this time. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. No phalanx stuck. this time, sucker. No phalanx this time. All right, so now <laughs> shooting, so we expect probably just the one lightning bolt onto yeah. the unicorn. Yeah. Yep. Because everything else is engaged. Three hits. One wound. One wound. Oh, just the one wound. All right. Uh, 12, 14. Oh, both Hello. shots. Here we go. Two hits. One wound. One. One. He's on our guard. Or uh, <laughs> mounted scouts, rather. MVPs. All right, so it's two wounds. They're twelve, fourteen. So need a ten to waver. Oh my god! And there's a oh ten. God. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. I mean, See, the, the, scou guy, the scouts were involved. <laughs> right. That's right. That. What did, what did uh, you okay. think you was happening? Dice, and it, it, with that after after being compounded with Alan, yeah, that's snake, right, right. The snake eyes from before that just it just compounds this the right. and this the is that nature's unit on the ground. Like, yeah. You you read a book like you read a novel, and there's like <laughs> some elite unit that's in the battle, and they're like they run up, they kill the thing they shouldn't kill, and then they defend the hill, and then they do this three other things. You're like that would never happen. It's the scouts. That's them. Yeah, Sean, they're, they're, Sean Bean or someone else is in there, like starring. <laughs> <laughs> this is their made-for-TV movie. This is uh, the Wizard on Peg. Of course, rolled a one for its only attack. Um, mm -hmm. That's those are like uh, the the Teddy Roosevelt led Rough Riders. Yep, they've mm -hmm. got their own press corps behind them writing yeah. dime novels about them. Eleven and six that will pick up these four shamblers. Yeah. Like at the at the end, you have this this like foot guard unit that's like we fought actual living rocks and <laughs> lizard men and lizard men with giant spears, <laughs> and the scouts are like, whatever, dude, <laughs> we're the stars. How much loot are you holding? Huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pardon? How many how many battles did you single handedly win? Yeah, that's what I thought. Should have seen us when we scared that unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's rough. That is that rough. is aggressive. Is 
Because like, is there even a possibility for the four shamblers to get in on the foot guard next turn with their positioning? It doesn't look like it to me. Yeah. I don't even think with Surge, like, yeah. Oof. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't I think, think they can they go around. Because... That they were checking if um if the I guess they confirm yeah, the, the positioning that the Will Father can't disengage and then charge the yeah the foot guard. Uh, so the shrine and the flank is gonna come up pretty much empty, I think. Maybe one boom oh. there. Nine, yeah, seven. they have one. It's a seven. So eight, eight, fourteen, eighteen. That's eighteen. Right. Yeah, re-roll. Yep. This is the dark timeline. Yeah. Did they not get it? Did we miscount? See the 10, 15 minutes. It looks like 18. Unless there's some source of rally over there we're missing. But they've left the earth elementals on the table and called it to uh, yeah, okay. five. Uh, Alex is sub 10 minutes now. Yeah, I was going to say, like, if Alex wasn't winning this game, he'd clock out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like there's a couple easy decisions like oh you double wood my dude i just get to charge you and take a unit off but um yeah. <laughs> that's a man yes that is a makeup call from the refs like we're at nine minutes uh, i mean if you're Alan right now, I don't really know what, what I would do. I'd be like, well, I tried last turn and screwed everything I had, had planned, so now I don't really know what to do this turn. It's going to matter. Yeah, I mean, it's harsh, so, harsh, harsh roll, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you go and the unicorn punches the the Madden scouts. I mean, you do the things that you know work. Plus, it's, it's wavered. Oh, right. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter whether you pull off something heroic and manage to kill the foot guard on the right to get a token back because the unit you'd spent half the game running down, preparing to harass and destroy those scouts to get that token back is now just standing in the middle of the table doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what you do over here on the other side either because the beast of nature is grounded, so it can't really do anything other than run into the front of foot guard or turn and punch a baron or go into the side of a wizard that's already devastated. So, why right. the four shamblers are blocked up pretty much all the way? Yeah. And I backed up the unicorn just to put it in cover. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's just a trying to keep it alive or make it less a less attractive target. Kind of move, but back it up like that's kind of going to take it out of play. I got to imagine that Alan will have those mounted scouts hidden by next turn. I mean, yeah. did the. Did the. Duke not set up in a position that if he wavered it, he could charge it? Not if it backed up. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's definitely out of arc now. Yeah. 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 Now what you do is you let the mounted scouts drop the token, and move up and shoot the shoot the unicorn so they can confirm their kill. <laughs> right. And, <laughs> and then the, the, Duke, the Duke's close enough that he, that he could go and just even, the, uh, even the, the, the other Pegasus wizard can just go take it. Yeah. <laughs> the bloodthirsty mountain yeah. scouts are like, <laughs> let them do their job fucking let us at them yeah. <laughs> come on let's finish this bro let me fight him I want to fight him 
You want to charge us? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> That's what. Yeah. It's that book. <laughs> fucking sparkle pony. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, so most most of the batches for the first round of It's Always Sunny are already completed. Is that right? Yeah. Um, but but when I the last time I checked, there were I think there's two matches that I need to input. So there are after this mold is completed, there will be nine matches still left to be played, mm -hmm. and um, that will be they they just haven't they have until. It's until Sunday night to finish. That's okay. Honestly, time. honestly, I'm not going to check until I get to work on Monday morning. So mm -hmm. technically, <laughs> up until like around eight thirty a.m. Yeah, or standard time. That's like the that's like the classic by end of day. Yeah, right. like really, really me before you come in in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Like, do we really mean end of day or like? Can I just get it to you at 3 a.m.? Right. We're good. Do, do we really mean we're, we're going to check the night drop box in the morning when we get in? Um, yeah. And so let me see. We've seen what? Patrick Zora Allen got a perfect 25. Yep. In his first round match. Put, yeah. And uh, all right. What a dude. And, yeah, and Ezekiel. <laughs> and Ezekiel. Yeah. Ezekiel Ferreira from yeah, he, Argentina. And, uh, yeah, from Argentina. He, um, he tabled. Felix Castro and got the full, uh, because it, it would, in the the scoring, the Thunder Gun unit is worth fifty more victory points. So yeah. he got uh, two thousand and forty five. So he got the yeah. that's. So if you table your opponent, that's the. It's the max attrition. And yeah, Felix was... that's that's like kicking a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> like how are you going to table Felix? He was that's using the uh, the all fanatic list too, right? Isn't isn't yeah. Ezekiel yeah. the one that normally would play it? Yeah, Ezekiel plays a played a very similar list, and I think yeah. he, he won virtually Vanguard last year with that with a very similar. Yeah, yeah. I, I played a lot that game. Yeah, Felix. Uh, well, it was uh, a list that Kyle Poole is yeah. currently playing, and um, and Felix is giving it a, giving it a run for it. Mm. So there's weakness cast on the foot guard. Yeah. Keith just said the answer is easily. I think that's in Ooh. response to how are you going to do that to Felix? <laughs> <laughs> I got to stop Felix. Mm. Okay. Um, all right. So that was a failure to heal anything off the earth elementals. That hurts. Mm. The question is, how does Keith sleep at night with these? <laughs> he doesn't. He has a toddler, right? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure he sleeps upside down. Um, <laughs> yeah, you just it, you hanging, just... <laughs> hanging, hanging from the ceiling, Lost Boy style, in a uh, fur coat of Dalmatians and corgis. <laughs> <laughs> Only four wounds, once. Okay, that was in the nerve checks you wanted. Earlier in the game, nine and yep. an eleven. Yeah, you know, they eventually win. Though. That's they're, they're big rocks. That's both Thunder Gun units down, right? Yeah, yep. and yeah, I don't think Alex, Alex didn't confirm a kill with his either, so he misses out on that point. No lies, but detected. they're 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 a stiff breeze, and they go over. He mm -hmm. picks up that, no problem. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean the, the, the shrine just disengages and slides sideways and pick it up, picks it up. Like, yeah. Yep, and then the he just has to keep. I mean, he's going to have all three potentially here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so here's Wolf Daddy on the already devastated wizard, just looking uh, for not snakes. How funny would another snakes be, right? Now? <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, he's close. He got the. That's when we just see uh, Buner 369 has left the room. Yeah. <laughs> he, needs, he needs to take a minute. Uh, so, um, what we got left? Oh, and the Beast of Nature punching the Duke back, I suppose. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, is that is that what he wants to be doing? I. <laughs> it's a little late, but like. <clears throat> I mean, that's a, it's that's kill a lot points. of foot guard. <laughs> well, and but if you get rid of that, then the foot guard aren't inspired when you hit them with everything next turn. <laughs> indomitable yeah. will. But they have indomitable will, sure. Yeah, they are. They they put up middle fingers and a special rule. Yeah. They're Such like, a good we, special rule. We have that. I I love it. I mean, it's, it's so good. And vicious again, rolls. I'm a I'm a big fan of right. the sort of generic human armies. Mm -hmm. I think there's something really cool about having like ranks of pikemen fighting giant monster zombies and stuff. I just <laughs> like that kind of mm -hmm. narrative appeal of the you know stalwart kingdoms of men holding up against what are absolutely bonkers crazy, you know, fantasy creatures. Mm -hmm. Especially when you get to the tabletop and it's like someone's Mercia army of enormous slavering Beast. and you've got you've got guys with spears <laughs> um so i love that the indomitable will is a really powerful special rule that also has some amount of skill and like when you decide to pop it yeah um i mean not too much skill because you basically wait till you're wavered or about to be fucked um <laughs> but it's i think it's a goal it's a really cool special rule yeah. so, so both both players are going into turn six with about nine minutes left on their clocks mm -hmm. Uh, and this is the top of turn six, so Alex is going to be looking to pick up the Earth clock Elementals, out. clock out, pick up the uh, yeah, pick up one more token just for insurance. <laughs> That's really about it. Eight minutes of Duke movement coming up, <laughs> or or Baron or whatever that flying guy is. Yeah. Right. Yep, so he's yeah. going to go in on, go in on the beast and then turn yeah. to face. Because the hurt that's coming is not actually that much hurt to a defense five. No, you know. right. the volume isn't there. Yeah. They're using a, a yeah. well now. And and it, it's it's not going to matter how that combat goes, right? Like, he could, he could lose that token and he's still going to have the other two. Yeah. Right. So... Even if even if things go horribly wrong for him over there, it's not really going to matter. There, the uh, the battle shrine is about to get in on this lightning bolt party. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everyone bolt the unicorn. Yeah, shoot the spark and pony. Mm -hmm. I'm calling it. The Madden Scouts are going to do the extra one to push it over here. Yeah, they're not in range, yeah. right? They, they will be. Bows? Oh, he'll move oh. them into range. <laughs> they, they will be. <laughs> he'll move drop, them up. See, watch. Yep. There he goes. Drop, drop the they're token. There. Move drop up. the token. Move up. The the Baron goes and picks it up. Yep. <laughs> That's what we think. Rude bold. or not rude? Bold. bold. The, yeah. Does I mean, it's technically the safer play. He has the is. higher oh, yeah. uh, nerve, higher armor, etc. But Not I like to is. just think these scouts are. Yeah, they, they're they're chopping at the just, fucking, you know. Yeah, I, I love the visual of like the scout captain just being like, "Screw the loot," and just like throwing it behind them and charging away, and the duke being like, "Oh shit!" and like running to catch it. <laughs> yeah, as they I, run off like, "Where are you going? You know we're supposed to get this shit, right?" Yeah, I like this point. other. I like this alternate. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. They put one down. These guys. Just I like the alternate narrative where the the duke has flown over and been like, "I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> I outrank you." And they're like, "Fine." We almost got out with the gold. Fighting bolt. Yeah. <laughs> You ten twice to take them off. There's a waiver. Or a waiver. Or a waiver. That's good enough. You stay in place. Yeah. Stay there, Sparkle Pony. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those. It's one of those, yeah. All right, here we go. Ten. No, Here's an honor guard. Honor guard on a bunch of rocks. Ooh, a lot of ones. That's only two wounds. 
Yeah, yeah. But they're they're already. Yeah. Yeah, they're already up to. Yep. Doesn't get them the first time it gets them on the reroll. <clears throat> Okay, mm -hmm. this is uh, this beast. Nineteen this hits on twenty-five dice. This is big in terms of points, yes. right? Like, like three. Were they hindered? I was rolling them as if they were hindered. Oh, they may have had. They may have had to clip the. Uh, yeah, they may have clipped the words or something. Yeah, the piece of nature is fine. Well, right. Good night, sweet foot guard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is like honestly, this is a little Alan like catharsis, assuming he doesn't yeah, really. won them. Yeah, like, 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 go farther go, in the rear. Yeah, go, <laughs> go, go stop a hole in those things and feel a little bit better about yeah. it. Like, he should never be in the rear. Like, how, how weird <laughs> is this battle line that the will yeah. father's like, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this? Yeah. yeah. You, that's right. Did he drop the token? Is that what's up? Yeah, I think he dropped the token when he, went, when he went in. This is a strange and it certainly is. So now we're gonna what surge them onto the token with the This is where you fail your one inch surge. <laughs> does, the, does does the druid even have surge? Oh it does yeah, surge, surge four. four. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's fine. kinda perfect. I was hoping he had surge six and could go right past it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, right by the token. Come on. God damn it. Yeah. Not really anything to do other than that surge and that one combat. Yeah, I mean it's just it's just pick up some points where you can. Yeah. Yeah. Kill kill some stuff. Yeah, he'll get he'll get a token, he'll get some points. You already killed uh, the Thunder Gun units. Yeah, I mean he'll get a token. He's killed a lot of Alex's army. There's a yeah. couple yeah. things that have, have gone his way where there's not actually a lot left on this table, considering mm -hmm. how good it looked for Alex at certain points. Right. Um, but like, even on a turn seven, at this point, Alan's not Alan's not picking this game up because no. he's he doesn't have anything that can threaten the shrine, except like the beast. But the beast isn't going to one shot the shrine. No, no. and it'll um, be, it'll be facing it by then, maybe yeah. or just out of range. Um, yeah. No, I mean this is you take your frustration out on the foot guard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, are they actually going to die? Mm, the the will father in the rear will probably confirm that. Yeah, is the yeah. issue. I don't know if he's added it already, but he, there's another one for, for uh, Cloud of Death. Cloud of Death. He hasn't. Um, but what's the will father's attacks? It's 10. It's 10. 10. So 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Crushing 3. I for, yeah, I keep forgetting he's the like 10. Just, like in yeah. my head, it's like, oh, seven attacks, twenty-one, and it's like, nope, nope, that's no, got no. ten attacks, but yeah, him alone, real deal. it's like in the ninety percentile. Yeah. Yeah, Alex, there's not a lot of army left. No. It's honor guard, one of your wizards, the Chad uh, mounted scouts. Just... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These things are. Yeah, fuck you, bro. <laughs> bro. Not content with their life of scouting and shooting. They're just like, no. We're going, we're going they, hard they, at that. They, they see a beast great. of nature across. Like, been, little did we. Before the battle, on. they had they had like a six pack of uh, Mike's Hard Lemonade. So they are. <laughs> ready to go, man. They're ready yeah. to go. They're, they crushed some white claws. <laughs> like I was just thinking, I didn't. I mean, is this like a Witcher subplot? Like they see the beast <laughs> of nature and just ride straight across the board to charge it first thing. It's so <laughs> we're belaying skirmishers now. <laughs> <laughs> Why do those mounted scouts all have two swords? <laughs> no, no, no reason. No reason. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, so there's two inches worth of uh, surge, I'm guessing. No, that was no weakness. Uh, weakness. That was weakness. Here's the surge. Okay. <laughs> Who did he weakness? He weakness the honor guard? For the turn for the turn seven charge so into the woods. Yeah. 
against the phalanx. Yeah, so it's yeah. Yeah. Just so he makes sure he doesn't lose his token. Because isn't whatever Capicoa Aloha still alive? Yeah. 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 He's hiding right in the trees. It looks like an extra shrub. <sighs> All right. Let's murder some foot guard. 19 hits on tw- on 30 dice. And uh, wounded on twos. 17. With, with vicious, I think. With yeah. Vicious, yep. Does he remember the vicious? Do you get your own vicious aura? Yeah. I think you do. Right? Yeah. yeah. You get your own aura. You do. Yeah. I mean... They're already done 17 wounds. <laughs> They're already on 20. So. There's, the yeah, there's, there's the extra two. Did he not pop his indomitable will? He did. Oh, sorry. That was the vicious. Okay. I thought that, yeah. I'm falling asleep here. That's what I'm done. Right. And there's the vicious there the 25, beast. it looks like. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> that's just, that, that's, an, that's an additional middle finger. Come on. Alan. That's that's so it feels so bad for him. Puner Puner three six nine has left the room. <laughs> I don't even has left the chat. That is, yeah. That's sad. Yeah. Uh, that's sad. It wasn't even on a reroll, it was just immediate. It was just the first one. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, so they're they're devastated. <laughs> if there is a turn seven. Yeah, and if I'm out at this point, I'm like, no turn seven, just 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 end this yeah. shit. Like I don't yeah, want to yeah. look at this table anymore. Turn seven roll. Time to clock Alex out. And nope. And clocking we're clocking out. out. We're clocking, clocking out. out. Here we go. Four minutes. Come on. <laughs> That's aggressive. Well, I guess the good news is you get one more shot at killing this foot guard. Yeah, you're yeah. gonna lose the beast in the process. Yeah, yeah, you lose the beast, get the foot guard. Um, the what you call it? The shambler shouldn't drop to a hindered phalanx honor guard. Right. No. Um, weakness. <laughs> weakness <laughs> honor guard. Yeah. They're <laughs> just. They're yeah. like we're the only real unit that's gonna be left. Why you gotta keep picking on us? <laughs> oh man! All right, we are going these the distance. Two, these these three are just closing in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get that pony. They <laughs> <laughs> Whoever Jason is is just rubbing it in. He's like, "You got one more chance to snake the guard." <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh man, why would why would you say that? I mean, at least they won't be inspired. So, right. I'm waiting for for Alex to snake this pony, <laughs> for it to kill the scouts. In the bottom of turn seven. <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> why? Why, why do that? <laughs> Where are you going? Stop. Where are you going, bro? You're winning. <laughs> for now <laughs> like, char- do the charge roll your combat dice yeah, why you do you and has a turn I mean he just started his clock so <laughs> <laughs> get those free moves in while you can All right. I wonder what he's going to shoot at. Oh, good point. Here we go. All okay. right. Lightning bolts into a pony in the woods or in a field. Just, doing both just, the same just, time. just roll them all. So, three. All right. Scouts coming in with two. One. Nah. Uh, and there it is. There it is. <laughs> oh, so there it is. It's fine. Yeah, now, oh. now it's fine. Oh. That's that's same. always that's always my favorite when like there's this horrible, horrible like double one or double six, and someone yeah. else is like, "Well, you double one to me earlier," and it was like, it "Yeah, didn't the, matter when it didn't matter. Thing that didn't matter." 
Like our chaff on chaff fight. That was a clutch double one. Uh, is this the one with sharpness? This is the one with sharpness, so still 12 hits. Mm -hmm. Okay. But only two wounds. All right. And, they're fine. and then we try to murder the beast. 14 hits. Looking for what? Fours? Wouldn't. Oh, yeah, they're devastated. One of the indomitable go left. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, we feel yep. for you. I think the beast lived, though. Yeah. Which means he gets that extra chance. Yeah. Last chance. I do like uh, Keith. Keith is thinking about extra spicy results here. Um, it's not going to happen, but... He has left himself in a position where lightning bolting the war shrine off. What the shrine? Yeah. yeah. He'd have to, Stash he'd, 14. That ain't happening. I, One go. If it does, though, it's a draw. <laughs> yeah. Like, how wacky is that? That there's even a chance to spike a dice roll and get a draw. <laughs> I'll do it quick. He's got um, plenty of time. Seconds. Yeah, and everything else is a charge or a counter charge, and just deciding what you want to do with that newly snaked pony. I mean, you could shoot you the, the draw. Yeah, shoot, you, you lightning bolt this. Yeah, it's a turn of roll. Yeah. yeah, okay. <clears throat> yep. Hail Mary. Or get, out of the terrain. or get out of the terrain. Or you say five fuck hits. You the, fuck you to the scouts in particular. <laughs> and shoot them again. Two wounds, wounds. needs a 12. There's the box card twice. And just once. Oh, yeah, they're not. That's not the inspiring guy. Do it. No, and... no. But, like, how crazy is it that that, that was the that was, shot? That was a... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Wasn't that's that like Alex, Alex that's is butthole, butthole that's, butthole that's, just that's Bane there. Chant. That's not Nerve. Yeah, there's still a that chance. Was, that was Bane Chant on the Thor Sham, but it's not Nerve. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's nerf. <laughs> oh. it, it got worse. Give that puck out. Steve, are you going to come 14? in with admin voice and yeah. tell him to stop rolling? <laughs> so he clocks out. Is that down. 12? Is that 12 wounds? Is that 13 wounds? On the honor guard? Yes, that is, two. 13, that is 13 wounds on the honor guard. Oh. 17? Nope, 16, 18. Oh, bummer. Your favorite. Don't care. No. Dice down. Dice down. They're not there. Dice down. <laughs> Dice down. You don't get the the guard. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, he's down. Yeah, that's just. Yeah, that's just nerve. Nerve yep. on the. He let him just roll nerve. Yeah, just a little bit nerve. Yeah, I think I think Alex didn't quite start his clock fast enough, so I think he actually took a little of Vanus. Yeah, that Alex had a on turn seven there. Another. 30. I mean, I I feel like this is calling your entire tournament into question, Steve. <laughs> yeah, but that twelve seconds of a <laughs> overrun on the clock. Yeah, that's fine. All right. All right. Send these guys the URL. So yeah, that was a game of uh that was very interesting. Some game. heartbreaking nerve rolls, I think, right? Yeah. Like it was it was pretty close, except for except for those couple of snake eyes. Like that Ugh. that would have been a very yeah, different I mean, game. Though. My read on it is Alex maybe went in a turn early and then made a mm -hmm. couple matchup decisions that unlocked the beast of nature and gave a little bit of the like a window back in for Alan. Mm -hmm. Um but they're here now, so I, I should stop talking about what I think. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, yeah, uh, welcome back, guys. Oh, uh, I haven't even begun to talk shit, Alex. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd wait until I got on camera first. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, thanks thanks for letting us watch that. That was a great game. Well, yeah, well played by both of you. And, man, that was, 
There was some heartbreaking yeah. nerve rolls in there. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, oh. it was bad. Like, oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Brutal. It was Painful. brutal. UB takes it, man. Yeah. The dice give and the dice Yeah. Give. Like I ended with 14 four ups. I'm like, oh, please let me break these honor guard. I was heartbroken. I thought they were 15 17. Oh, yep. I was like, yeah. I, I was just joking before the game with, with Jesse this afternoon about how I always forget about Indomitable Will. Yeah. And I'm like, charge them in. And I'm like, I didn't do it. And, didn't and then you got 14 hits. I was like, yeah. oh. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I, I thought we, we, we thought that was a funny one, but we, we really thought the, the butt pucker. Was coming when when he lightning bolted your battle shrine. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, at the end. I was running out of time. I should have moved out of the. I didn't get to move out of the terrain. I should have moved out, but I was like, just, we were getting really close on time, so I was trying to fire it through. Like, how ridiculous would it have been if that was a draw? <laughs> uh, I was going to say no guts. I even said no guts, no glory. I was going to take yeah. it at the, just to get the hundred points, but I'm like, what's a hundred points? I'm like, I don't care. I'm going at it. I'm like, mm -hmm. see if I can do it. After I did it, I was like, I should have just pivoted the honor guard and drop, like, move them because they could survive lightning bolt. <laughs> but, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes you just got to tempt fate. <laughs> True. That's a very uh, okay game. Yeah. Did, did we have any questions? Was there anything specific that came up that we wanted to know about? Uh, anybody can remember? So, um, I'm just interested from Alex. Mm -hmm. You pulled the trigger i think it was turn three yeah to 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 come in hard um on your left flank alan's right we assume that that wasn't actually intended to win but just to like slow everything down over there i was i just um, wanted the two on the left and then i was just like if i can just gum everything up on the on the right long mm -hmm. enough with just like awkward pegasus placement and, and mountain scouts just getting in the way and just not die, or just like die slowly, like the old racing <laughs> tactic: die on time. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, that was that was an interesting. Like, we weren't sure if going that turn or the next turn was better, but it was it was fun to see it just happen. Uh, yeah, I figured it was steaming in. Just give it a shot, and then because I figured at that turn, my mounted scouts would have more time to run away. While stuff was still going on on the right, and then they, they don't run though; they just fight. They yeah, yeah they were awesome. Was, yeah, Rattus Gets were really like MVPs, like a hundred percent. They did. They yeah. out, they outperformed quite a bit. I think they heard that I'm building um, potential chaff replacements. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there, I thought they hit on fives, and they were like, they hit on four. I'm like, oh man, mm -hmm. <laughs> I moved the beast over. Yeah, they were. Um, we were calling them the Rush Riders. Yeah, they were they were good. <laughs> yeah, we were calling them a lot. To be fair, yeah, we're calling them a lot. We're calling them Alan was calling them much worse. Yeah. Well, he goes, "My wizards always survive," and I rolled the double ones. I'm like, "Jesus, he called it!" Oh. <laughs> like, 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 come on. There's always one awkward double one with the wizards. Yeah, just let him keep standing there. Mm -hmm. So, um, I had a question. Um, and this is not to not to you know rub anything in. It's more of a, a question on like army design philosophy and how you wanted the game to work, Alan. Um, at first glance, it looks like your army doesn't really have chaff. It or, doesn't like, throw away units. No. And and how are you how are you finding that and like how do you sort of mitigate that or work around it? Because it's it's a conscious choice, obviously. Oh yeah. You're a good player. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I try to use the the. I want to lure people in. I want him to charge me. Like, it's almost like you sit back and bait. I keep waiting. And then you got to line everything up. Like I'm lining, um, the Wilt father up and I'm lining up the, the far shimmers that when he comes in, he's only able to get one. I was trying to use that building or I'm sorry, the rock feature to the right. So when he's charging me, he can't get double charges off. So he can only get one at a time. So I want him to come in and, and I don't want chaff to be in my way almost. So yeah. bringing it in. And actually this is a variation of my 2300, as you saw, that was I think it says it's always sunny four. I almost had a list exactly like Alex's, but I was like, I have everything painted for this. And mm -hmm. I was like, I want to get tournament experience with it. So I'm like, but yeah. when I go up, my I get in uh, the heart piercers. So all my shooting's kind of gone, which I normally just like to take off their chaff and just yeah. so this is a little variation. That's why the, the chaff's not in there. I mean, I'd love to have Pegasus in there for the 80 points, but mm -hmm. <laughs> 
So it's Steve's uh, fault because he made it in 1990. Yeah, exactly. I mean, <laughs> yeah. everyone else is blaming Steve for everything else, though, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> anything else? Anybody got any other questions? Anything from the stream that came up? I can't think of anything. I mean, it was a pretty straightforward, well well played game. Like we, yeah. it's pretty clear what you guys were doing. Um, there was no there there were no really weird tactical choices. I don't think. Um, yeah. I guess maybe maybe when the when the Mallet Scouts came off the hill and grounded the Beast of Nature over on the that on was the that, yeah that was just a mistake. I, like I said, I thought they were hitting on fives, but I still even even with five they should have at least did one. Maybe sure. sure. But I, I was um, thinking they, they were five, so I was like, ah, I'll take the risk and didn't pay off yeah and after they yeah after they grounded you it looked like you you thought for a second about like turning the beast and just running away and kind of getting in the face yeah. of the duke and then you decided to just counter charge instead yeah. like that's what i was like well if i go over front they're gonna get 14 attacks yep. and then it, it's just pretty much the whole thing i didn't want to do is i didn't want to get locked in with the duke because the duke has iron resolve he has mm -hmm. radiance of life if i lock in with the duke it's just kind of be i'm in the i'm especially no healing around he yeah. has the advantage. So mm -hmm. I was like, I'll take the risk. And I went, what, I needed a seven. I rolled a thing of three or something like that. But I'm like, well, mm -hmm. if I roll a seven twice, I could at least face him and put it out of choice. If not, I get charged and I get 14 attacks. <laughs> and I couldn't turn and face and run down either. He would have still got me 21 inches. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think when he tried to like go up. He tried to go up, and then yeah, he noticed like the back corner was still in the, the back scouts. corner was still getting the scouts. Okay. Like, couldn't get out of both or get out of one or the other. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think each of our thunder guns just killed one. Nothing else happened. We each lost our thunder gun unit. Yeah, yep. yeah. Alex did have the opportunity for narrative to kill your thunder gun unit. Yeah, is is yeah. yeah, yeah. But he he opted for the safer like tactical. Yeah, play. he went for the. So. Yeah. Thanks, Alex. He yeah. was just trying to build a narrative. I play boring, guys. That's how. That's how it goes. <laughs> we know. We know you hate fun, and you, you know you hate narrative. So I, hey, got to be true to yourself, people. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that he always did one wound. I think with lightning bolt that worked out the way I wanted it to. Hide in the forest. I was yeah. like, I'm gonna. He's gonna just like grind himself down. I actually, was gonna start weakness, throwing weakness on the battle shrine, but I'm like, he ain't doing anything. I'm like, I could just constantly hit yeah, him back. I, so then you didn't need to. <laughs> no. right. right. Getting yeah. one hit a turn is pretty. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty lame. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, thanks so much for letting us watch your game, guys. That was yeah, that was thanks. super fun. Uh, very well played, both of you. Congrats to Alex on the win, and Thank good you. luck to both of you on the remaining rounds of the tournament. Thanks, Alex. Uh, Thank you. Also, you guys. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Appreciate yeah. it. I'd also like to thank uh, Jesse and Steve and Britton for, for hanging out with me here and talking about the game. And uh, everybody watching on the live stream that commented and hung out with us. Appreciate you guys being here. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, until next time, uh, I'm guessing we're not going to try to do any more round one matches because it ends in a couple of days. But uh, Always yeah. Sunday is going to be going on for the next few weeks. So we'll be trying to do at least one match uh, per round. So one match per week probably. Or maybe two if there's a round where there's some particularly spicy or interesting uh, matchup. So keep your eyes open for that. Uh, and, if you want a little advanced warning of, of when we're going to have them, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and you get notified when they get scheduled instead of just the you know 24 hours notice I give people when I post on Facebook about it. Yeah, Britton? Yeah. If, if you are uh, looking at the matchups, like you're either in the tournament or just interested in looking at the matchups and you see something that looks fun to watch, um, whether it's the armies, whether it's the, the player personalities, whether whatever it is, like hit us up, especially if you're part of that match, <laughs> um, and we'll see if we can we can get the stream on there. But uh, we just sort of look at these early rounds and try and find ones that look fun. So if if you the viewers see something interesting, uh, yeah, put it to our attention and we'll see if we can make it happen. Definitely. As long as it's not right. you know Alex again. Cause Please <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. No one wants that. Just gonna. Just spread the love around. That's, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Just, just spread the love around. Send me uh, your right. requests, people. No one needs to see this attic <laughs> anymore. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so thanks again, everybody. Until next time, I'm your host, Mike Atkins, saying you stay safe out there, and we will see you next time on Dash 28 Live. Bye, everybody. Right. Take care. Bye, guys.